thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a happy quarantine. If you're interested in spicing up your own D&D games, be sure to go check out our series There's Rules for That. The last episode specifically talks about how to make two characters from League of Legends, and we have other episodes talking about how to do crazy things like run up walls and make a character that can wield a gigantic weapon. Ian and Ricky currently live together and they're working hard on that series, producing one every other week, so be sure to go check it out. I'll link the last episode in the description below. It's been a while since we put out the first episode of Altered Egos. We recorded this one way closer to the first one, but some crazy stuff happened, and so now I'm basically going through and editing everything that we have footage for, and we're going to be putting that stuff out just as it comes, just sort of as we can. And in the meantime, we're figuring out what our current, like, quarantine production schedule looks like and working on making some new stuff between all the different houses. So I really appreciate you guys uh, still watching. If you can just kind of bear with us for a few weeks, we're going to get this figured out and we're going to have uh, new fun stuff coming out for you guys to watch. We will also be recording more Altered Egos episodes over Discord, so more will come out after this as well. So, please enjoy, and uh, we'll see you soon. Alright, so we're in the, uh, the city of Aviel, which is a holy city blessed by the angels. Um, as long as people keep doing good, it's gonna be good. Um, and uh, it used to have this patron saint protector, a superhero named Excelsior, the Vision and Mithril. Uh, where she had a run-in with uh, Caprice's uncle and had her arm ripped off. So she's uh, uh, retired to administrative duties and she has hired our folks to uh, help out some. And they are, uh, uh, they have a sort of a, a secret base called the Aegis that is located on the rim of a giant thin spot between the material plane and the abyss called the caldera, just a ways down the continent. Um, they have a bunch of fun ways of getting there. Um, last time we uh, we played, they were uh, on a quest, a uh, mission to get um, the Revenant, uh, Jeffrey's uh, character, um, back up to speed and health because he had uh, taken an unfortunate swim. Um, and how did that go? Um, that went about as bad as it could have gone yeah, without dying. Really awful. Silk. I'm pretty sure he vomited on me multiple times. On your nice fancy armor. And then we got trapped in his mind. Mm -hmm. We had yep. to fight his own mind demons. Yeah, and I practically died trying to fight the mind demons. <laughs> That's true. This and then and he's not here this time because he wasn't invited. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. I think was he the one that defeated his mind demons, or did you defeat the mind demons? I punched one of them real hard, but I don't I don't remember exactly how that shook out. It was a out. collaborative effort, right? <laughs> yeah. It was really um, rough. In the meantime, you also managed to lose one of your very best friends in the entire world, Chomwell. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, our, be our very best friend. <laughs> uh, poor Lord Chomwell had uh, had uh, suffered a blow to the head already and was kind of amnesiac, and uh, uh, the demons thought he was an appropriate was empty it? vessel, so they all leapt into his head, and he uh, just sort of hulked out. Um, he, he, he jumped away, slammed his head, his head over his head, and is just out, you know, enjoying himself. Um, and I'm sure nobody else is at all. Uh, so, at the end of that, all that, um, y'all had uh, also made a new friend in the form of, uh, one Jasper. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is good at medicining. Um, That's thank good. Thank God. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Someone needs me, right? Saved my life. And so, uh, y'all are now, you know, I've... The end of the last session, y'all decided to return to the Aegis. Um, I can't reach the floor. Everything okay? Yeah. Why are you trying to reach the floor? My face. <laughs> y'all decided to return to the Aegis with um, uh, a limp Lyrum and a and Jasper in tow. Um, Lyrum is healed officially. However, he had kind of a rough going of it, so he's sleeping off the vomit. Sleeping off the vomit. I hate that phrase. Mm, well in there. Mm. So, um, y'all return to the Aegis. And you walk in and you find um, Excelsior. Well, she doesn't really call herself Excelsior anymore. She calls herself Talia, but everybody else still calls her Excelsior. Uh, uh, a uh, somewhat hardened, a 40 year oldish uh, awesome R woman. Uh, now um, much more imposing somehow with one arm missing. Um, mm. She is uh, a crouched over, doubled in pain. You see, she has one arm, one, uh, her, her remaining arm, her left arm, is uh, grasping at her wound on her right. And she's here, here sort of chanting, you want me to give me strength? You want me to give me, please, bless me with this. And then there's like a small little a section, uh, or a tiny moment, there's a small sizzle, you see sort of a blue light flick around her fingers, and it goes out, and she screams out again, ah, you want me to give me strength? You want me to give me, ah, it's not working. Where are we? In the Aegis. What is it, it's like our base, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, this, it's a shape of a giant, it's like a, a five story tall knight, a statue of a knight, it's a, a or maybe oh, that's 10 right. story, it's like 100 feet tall. How many stories are inside? Um, the number of rooms in it is mysteriously variable. 
It's clearly not uh, an <laughs> artifact of mundane construction. Um, I hear the views are great near the left elbow. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, are you trying to grow your arm back there, or? She turns around. <laughs> growing it, growing back's out of the question. That's never happening. Just sometimes the pain gets a little hard to handle. You know what I used to, to take that pain from me? She's not, she's not, we're not on great terms right now. Uh, but she oh, sees, this guy might be able to help. Jasper, oh, thank God she found Jasper. Jasper, please. And so Jasper uh, runs in and uh, says a bunch of things that Ethan would say. I'm not going <laughs> to... Wait, so who's all in this area? Right now it is you, it is Silverback, That's... it is Pippa, it is um, Jasper, and it is Lyrum, unconscious on uh, Silverback's shoulder. Gotcha. Us, us cool. three, Ragdoll, Jeffrey, and uh, uh, Ethan, who's disappearing fast enough to not have to... Be voiced by one of us. Okay. <laughs> it just, I just don't, it, we can't do him justice. So uh, <laughs> no. he goes back and he's immediately making a tea. <laughs> and uh, so um, they, 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 they kind of screw up in the back, and you are left in this room for the moment with um, someone named Davy. Davy, mm-hmm. who is a, uh, a Larakian Azada, which means she's like, yay big, she's a fairy. Um, she's uh, Azada's very type of uh, a good aligned outsider. So. Um, Should we apologize for trying to kill her that one time? Did we try to do that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jeffrey did. I'm I mean, sure. yeah, I don't think I did that. I think the uh, you were I, watching. Jeffrey can apologize. <laughs> and by Jeffrey, I mean Lyrum. Lyrum. Lyrum can apologize for whatever he needs to apologize for as soon as he wakes up. He has a lot to apologize for. I'm going to Indeed. make him apologize for multiple things. Mm-hmm. Quick question: Am I still dying? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You you, you had so you had a, a, a nice. Uh, uh, the best thing about Jasper and his, his mentor, they have every tea you could ever imagine, including convenient Not strength tea. restorative tea. Um, <laughs> I haven't found that one yet. I so am I all back to normal? We're going to say yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, 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 Davey kind of looks worried in the room. I'm sorry you have to see her this way. It's, I gotta tell you, it takes something out of me. She used to be so strong, and she still is on the inside, but she's not as strong on the outside as she used to be. I'm I'm worried. We can't always understand why celestial forces do the things they do. Wasn't anything celestial about that beast. That's the problem. Oh. We need to make. We need to keep the city celestial. We can't let it fall. I suppose you're right. So how'd it go? I wouldn't say stellar. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, should we be worried? She's alive, so. Okay. That part worked, I guess. Where's Chumwell? Oh yeah, oh. no, he's gone. Oops. He had something else to do? Uh, well, he... Turned into a monster. Yeah, that's accurate. And then he ran away. Well, he... Yeah. He lives in the sewers now? <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. <laughs> I believe. Okay. Don't Everything's a little I foggy, honestly. <laughs> <clears throat> right, okay. Well, um, y'all yeah, just chill for a minute. And when, when we... I, I, Excelsior... <laughs> Talia has something she'd like to go over with y'all. She wants to hear about it and see, see what the next step is. Just give her like five-ish minutes. Just kind of get her get herself back together. Um, is there anything y'all would like to do? Just having just returned? I'd like to try to clean off the back of my armor. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were leaving that for Lyrum. He's out. I can't walk around in this. Don't worry, I'll get him back. I'll make him do something. You gonna vomit down his back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I cannot think of anything to do. Cool. We're not going to take him somewhere? Liram? I think this is about the safest place he can be okay, at this point. I, no, uh, should we call, I guess Jasper is. Making tea. Him. Yeah, with tea. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, uh, yeah. you managed to find a, um, a lightly magical uh, surfactant slash scrub under uh, one of the kitchen sinks. Um, and it, it scours it right off. Okay, good. <laughs> There's now a puddle of uh, gross liquid on the floor somewhere else, but that's not your armor. So a oh. short time passes, and you see, um, and, and, and Excelsior sort of returns uh, in a robe. Her face is very pale, but she looks a little bit um, more stable. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. That's just, uh, can't always be my best. So I hear that you've managed to somewhat help Liram. That chomwell has gone AWOL. Can you tell me anything else? Um, Don't seem to remember a lot of it. Um, what was the last thing that happened? <laughs> uh, well, he seemed to be infected by 
I, I don't know, some weird demon virus or something. Demons. Chomwell? Well, he now, right. yes. Right. Um... How did that happen again? Lirum had, uh, I don't know, he drank demon water and uh, the tall guy right, helped and us. Right, and, and then give it him some went medicine. into Chomwell, and now Chomwell is... And he started mm-hmm. fighting people in his own head. Right, right, right. And then the demons came out, and they went into Chomwell, and he turned into a monster, and then he ran away, and now we're here. And now we're here. Okay, yes. But we don't, we don't know his whereabouts. Right. No. Excelsior looks alarmed. He was infected with demons? They weren't they, just out, they were in his head? That's the best way I can think to describe it, yeah. Well, I mean, they were in Liram's head, and we were in Liram's head, and then they were out of Liram's head, so I assume they're going to be in Chomwell's head. I mean, demons I, do move from host to host. This so isn't really my probable. area. That's I don't right. know how much of this was you, demonic or we need, we whatever. Need, we need to call in some specialists. Uh, vapors were going on in that shop. I have, a, I have people. I have people. We can do this. Okay. She goes back over, and she flips up on her Rolex. She, she pauses for a second. I need to apologize. I think I was using an outdated Rolodex when I gave you some directions last time. You may have had some trouble finding the place. Oh, uh huh. They changed yeah. the flags every once in a while. I haven't really updated in a while, so I hope that wasn't a problem. Well, it was an unfortunate error, but I think we got through it. We're smart. Good, good. That's why I hired you. Yeah. Um, she flips over. Probably could have prepared better. No offense. You know, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> She, uh, she flips open a Rolex. This one doesn't change, though, because these people have a permanent spot. Uh, you are going to look for our resident demon hunters. They are in a spot called... Flips open. I thought that was the guy that just drank the demons and who we put down over there. What? Drank the demons? Lear? Was he not the, the resident demon hunter? I thought that was his job. Well, he's no, trying. he's a ghost hunter. He's a, it's different. He's got, a, he's got a bit more of a specialized path, I believe. These people have a more uh, just... And... Mm, He's broad good hatred for demons. Mm-hmm. I'd say he was good at it. Well, then he's probably not the residential one. <laughs> I am in favor of going and finding demoniac expertise, as I was not as well prepared as I expected to be, given my high position in um, religious affairs. Um, and I myself would also like to learn from these demon hunters to improve my craft. Well, this is great. Um, I have to warn you, they're a little energetic. But maybe we need some of that. The they demon were hunters? putting on a show, and they were nearly brought low by some demons. But help, I happened to be in the area, helped them out, and now they owe me a couple of favors. So, mm. you can okay. find them at the synchronized chapel of the sonorous backstreets in the cathedral district. Oh, that chapel. Oh, you've Do been there. You know there? this chapel? I've been there. Can you tell us about What's it? It, it, was like? an, it was an interesting experience, to say the least. It, there was a little more fanfare and, uh, I want to say, lights than I necessarily expected to come out of one stained glass window. Um, that sounds nice. Uh, I wouldn't say it was bad. It was uh, unconventional, but, you know, we are all a little unconventional here. It was loud as well. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. So Good. <laughs> At your leisure, if you could, well, really not leisure, we really need to get this done fast. The problem is, demons that possess people aren't the kinds of demons that we're used to using, or dealing with. When they're a physical force leaking through, that's one thing. If they start hopping to people, that's a sign of something much, much worse. Ooh. We need to get this dealt with quickly. But, yes. you know, take your time. No, we want to do it fast. Come on, All right. Please. Here's the last thing I have to say about this. It is more important that you rid, rid, rid the world of these demons than that you get Chomwell back alive. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Um, uh, Davy looks very worried by this. <laughs> Talia, look, don't, we don't have time for this anymore. We've talked about this. Taking half measures has got us this far. We need to go the full way. Good luck. That's troubling. Oh, that seems... <laughs> All right. <laughs> It'll be fine. Look, I'm Besides, not we kill the demons and we get Chomwell back. It all, it's all one big thing, you know? I don't know if that's how that works. Well, he can have can demons have in, his, in his head if they're gone. I'm just worried that the head will also be gone. Oh, ah, well. We'll try not to do that. Okay. I'm all for punching out Chomwell. I think uh, I actually probably am equipped most for doing that, but I uh, admittedly don't have a lot of experience with this whole demonic thing going on. 
I know you ladies mm-hmm. uh, have varying levels of experience with it. Um, what makes you say that? <laughs> well, I think I, it... Is that a trick question? No. <laughs> <laughs> just curious. I'm just saying, I, I don't know how any of this works. This isn't what I'm used to dealing with. I'm used to aggressive negotiating with people, humans. Well, we could leave you behind. I'm not saying I want to be left behind. I just, I don't know. I, I was shocked by how much of a physical component demon fighting took uh, at our last uh, juncture. So yeah. I, I support you coming along, of course. We're a team. Yeah, you punched a demon in the face. Well, I tried. Did it work? It seemed to work fine. Great, we are prepared. <laughs> Let's a, go. Yeah. Let's go find our specialists. Oh yeah, yeah. As you set out, I would like each of you to choose whether or not you are going out, um, uh, quote unquote, hood up or hood down. Which is to say, since you're all vigilantes, remember that when you are in one of your guises, either the social guise, which is your everyday, everyday uh, life guise, or your uh, your vigilante disguise, which is more like your superhero disguise, uh, you are completely undetectable as the other person. Um, Exceptions apply and things, if, is, but if somebody recognizes you, or it, it is very difficult for them to recognize you, but if you, I don't know, like, start talking about your family history or something like, hey, I know that, you get a check to make sure that they don't recognize you, or you can reveal it, but once they reveal it, once you reveal it to somebody, they know. So, um, for it's some of you, vigilante time. Like, uh, yeah. I imagine for Silverback, you are not frequently in your uh, social persona. That's because I'm never anywhere I'm comfortable, so right. I think I'll probably keep the armor on until I am. I'm also in my vigilante outfit. This is a mission. Okay, Psycho Seer, up. Yes. Yes, and um, I think that I will wear my social persona. All right. So Actually, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. You're going, you're going to go <laughs> to Aurora? <laughs> I, yeah, I guess. You really so. want to be seen at this place? <laughs> for, the, uh, for the sake of it, can, would you like to um, uh, uh, describe how, what right? happens when you, when you switch from Pippa to Aurora for us? Sure. Um, is it happening right now? Yes. Okay. So the whole room fills with light, so there's nothing but light in the room, as far as all of you can see. My body rises into the air and goes into a dramatic pose where my head is backward, and then ribbons come out of my chest and circle around my whole body, and I'm engulfed in flames. And then you hear some chimes in the background, like da 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 And then I slowly float down in a uh, very magical-looking outfit. This literally never gets old. <laughs> It feels great. I feel great. You know how when you get out of my car, it like dings a little jingle every time? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's like that, but 20 minutes long, and it turns into a whole new person. I'm over here like... And it never gets tired. (laughs) I get this arm around myself, (laughs) which I can do in four minutes, according to my sheet. Wow. (laughs) That's pretty good, really. I took off my normal pants, and then I put on my superhero pants. You you have makeup, right? That's your your face disguise? And then I put on my makeup, and I get my hair did. It's fine. <laughs> like a normal person. <laughs> Do you have to, like, polish the horns, or are they, like, self-polishing? Never. Okay. <laughs> They're grungy on purpose. <laughs> oh, that's worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the easiest way for you to get back to town is to just pick a closet, any closet, and walk through it. Um, it is a three-day walk back to town otherwise. Oh, um, I didn't realize we were that far out. <laughs> if you were in the very first session, which none of you have ever seen, <laughs> you had to, like, caravan there. If you remember, there was, a, uh, there was some talks about team stealth and all that jazz. Yeah. That occurred in a watchtower in between here in, in the, the caldera. Gotcha. It's like a, it's like a solid two- or three-day uh, journey. So just picking a closet, any closet, and going for it is usually the fastest way. The only downside is you show up in a random tavern in right. Aviel. Um, so out of this... This vaguely night-shaped, uh, I mean, it's explicitly very specifically night-shaped building. Uh, where would you like to try and find a closet? How high up, how down low, near what body part? Does that affect where we exit in the city? <laughs> it sure might. <laughs> I want to go to the neck. I was thinking of the thumb. Mm. It just seems like a closety place. Maybe is it? Maybe it's the city's tiered, right? So maybe the lower tiers are down lower in the statue, and the, the higher heart. ones are up higher. Where's the Where's the like, churchyard? The tier we aim Not at the churchyard, the cathedral district. Sorry, where's the the yard with the churches? Um, the, the heart. Ch- the The yard with the, the churches. Stomach? Can I consult my knowledge, please? <laughs> sure. Make me a, a knowledge local check. The um, head. That was a twelve. Twelve. What's your knowledge local on your uh, four? Four. So sixteen total. 
No, it was actually an eight plus four. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay, so you remember that the um, the city of Abiella is dis- is uh, divided into six tiers, mm-hmm. kind of like a wedding cake upwards. You have the churchyard down below, which is outside the walls proper. Um, then it rises into the cloister, which is the lower residential district. Then there's the Corona, which is the um, uh, the marketplace, the forum. Uh, and then there's a large sort of uh, uh, difficult flight of stairs upwards called the Cherub's Crossing. It's a solid like 200 uh, 200 foot uh, staircase, very steep. There's a lot of like private elevators and things that go up around it just because it's a pain. Or you can do the uh, it's sort of like a, a pilgrimage for a lot of people if they ever need to go up higher than the, the marketplace for something important. So they think this is sort of like a a religious struggle for them. Uh, and then above that is Choir Loft, which is the upper residential district. And then above that is the Cathedral District. And then up at the very top is the Celestial Court, where is where your uh, general okay. business is held. But the Cathedral District is where this church would be. So fifth tier up. Okay. So what is the second sixth from the top of a person? Neck. The neck is yeah. Okay. Or shoulder. Okay. Sure. Neck or shoulder. Clavicle. Can we'll we have exit through clavicle. the clavicle. <laughs> exit through we the select clavicle. clavicle. <laughs> you select clavicle. All right. You go to basically the area of the clavicle. It's like right, 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 right. The 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 pauldron joins on. That's heart. I said that. <laughs> if your clavicle is near your heart, I suggest they're close. They're close. <laughs> They're okay, all right. They're, they're a hand well, span in apart. my body. Okay, that's true. It's <laughs> half a hand span apart. But they're all close. <laughs> all right. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Watch it be reversed for some reason. Should have gone for the knees. <laughs> Ribs. <laughs> it also may make. Uh, Exactly zero difference. I couldn't speak having one, but <laughs> as it happens. How did none of us think of butt? Oh, one of us should have thought of butt. I am disappointed. You, you should have thought of butt. That I did. Your it just job. took me too That's long. That's why you're here. Exit through the butt. I'll do that. <laughs> Better oh, out than in. Oh, you mean the butt. All right. You <laughs> no, up, I meant, I mean uh, the butt. You hear um, <laughs> uh, a fairly loud uh, 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 hymn. As you like, you, you all sort of tumble. You open the closet door. What's you tumble it sound through. Like? Um, it sounds, oh, <laughs> and then a round goes, oh. That's how hymns work, right? Yeah, I, that's not. really beautiful. Sure, Thank you. Yeah. It sounds like we did it. Yeah. Um, and you're Wait. in a closet. You're just stuck in a, in a closet. You can smell. Uh, there's a sort of caustic cleaning chemical over to the left, and it smells like a jar of pickles up on your right. But you're all sort of like slammed up against a, a, a stout wooden door. Who's first? I'll go. Everyone's gonna freak. Usually freaks out whenever I walk in. Anyway, I'm just gonna open the door. <laughs> you open the door. You find you're like. Uh, so imagine a um, like a semicircle, like a right. Um, y'all are along this back wall, and then uh, arrayed out in front of you, around in a, a, a half circle, is in fact a full blown choir. Um, they're kind of behind a bar. You see, um, in the middle, uh, the area is all. It's a. It's a fully functioning tavern. Um, it's just got this sort of live choral orchestra thing going on all the time. Um, people are swooping back and forth. It's a. Uh, it looks like it's a very lively spot right now. There's about 30 people in it. Um, probably an after-service sort of uh, location. And uh, as you walk in, um, how noticeable are you being? I'm not making an effort to not okay. be. Okay, I'm very bright. <laughs> so you suddenly hear a. Oh! <laughs> 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 One of the singers sort of like stumbles and coughs, <clears throat> and there's a ripple effect across the whole choir, and everybody just sort of stops. And <gasps> but like harmonized. <laughs> <laughs> I want can I want to float forward, uh-huh. and, Girl. <laughs> with my halo on, and be like, no, continue. I'll watch from the closet. Make a diplomacy check. <laughs> diplomacy check. That was diplomacy. Oh. Okay, got a seventeen plus twelve. Yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> they know who you are. <laughs> you hear, uh, so he goes, is it Saturday? Is it Saturday herself? He goes, don't, don't be an idiot. She doesn't come down. Here. It's pretty close, though. It's pretty close. Anyway, oh, uh, you, are now. these all labyrinth characters in this, <laughs> in this cathedral? Obviously. Uh, you see, a, you see a, a, a stout-looking dwarf standing up there. Bradley? Bradley? Hey, Clive, what you doing? We have visitors. Somebody get Ronald. And there's a sort of an assembled, like, a... a Three dwarves of increasing size, uh, still all dwarf sized. Uh, <laughs> can we help you, madam? Yes, thank you for asking. We are looking for the. What's it called? <laughs> Dinah Hunters. We are looking for. Oh, what's the cathedral we're going to named? 
the kid, the. Did you write this down? What? Did any of you write this down? No. no. <laughs> I have, it's like to make I have an, a pen. Make but an I intelligence didn't. check. Me? All of you. Well, that hurts. That was a real life intelligence <laughs> check that we all failed. <laughs> I, I didn't even get my, my dice. Ooh. I got a five. <laughs> 16. 16 is oh, pretty good. I'm smart. Just flat intelligence? Flat intelligence. Uh, nine. Well, <laughs> Psycho's here. You happen to remember that it was called the Synchronized Chapel of the Sonorous Backstreets. Synchronized Chapel of the Sonorous Backstreets. Thank you. We are looking for the uh, Synchronized Chapel of the Sonorous Backstreets. He goes, hi. That makes sense. Backup dancers? Yes. Yep. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a backup dancer, but. You know. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's, that's contract negotiations for you. Huh? Uh, down the street, to the left, up the stairs, down the stairs, around the corner, through the loop. Once Could you more, believe? Please? Up the stairs, down the stairs, to the left, around the loop, up, oh no, hold on. <laughs> down the street, to the left, Bradley picks up, up the stairs, Clive picks up, down the stairs. And then they all say through, uh, all at once, through the loop. What was your name again? Bradley. Bradley. Could you believe? This guy. Ballerina. No. Yeah. Give me a pirouette. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just getting started, so it's not really a... Uh... It's dangerous for him to pirouette without warm-ups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in oh, all right. this old get-up. Tell you what, though. You come back and prove it. Free drink for the night. <gasps> he mm. will be back. Don't speak for me. Well, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so down the stairs, up the stairs, to the right of the stairs, and then through the door. Right? You're the one with the high intelligence check. Oh, <laughs> just once. <laughs> um, do you think that one of you would be willing to escort us? I would like to sparkle a little bit. Diplomacy. <laughs> okay. I rolled a, an 11 plus 12. 11, okay. You may pick between uh, Bradley, Clive, and Ronald. Ronald, will you escort us, please? Wait, which one's the small one? What? Oh, uh, it is Ronald. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've had a series of mishaps involving uh, faulty directions, uh, and uh, not that we don't trust you, but uh, we would trust you in person more than our memory of your words. I can see that. Well, it's an important fixture in the, in the neighborhood, so I, I'd be happy to help them out. They've been going through a, a bit of a time recently, honestly. Well, right this way, I... Oh. He sort of like points toward the front door. I don't know how you got... You know, it's time for questions for later. Thank you, Ronald. Cool. And you all proceed down to the street, and you find that you have been inside a tavern called the um, uh, the Owl Bear and Goblin. It, uh, the 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 sign has a uh, an owl bear flying gracefully, and it's hanging from its its mouth is a like a sheet that has like a goblin in it, sort of like a baby on its back. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> um, and it's just sort of it's it's very nicely. It's a, a you're on a cobbled street. Um, we're pretty close to the, uh, the, the, uh, the whole city backs up against a plateau, and we're kind of near it. Uh, there, there's a sort of a secondary plateau that, that falls off of the uh, upper court, so you've got a really, it's a very steep hill in the background. It's uh, replete with wildflowers. Um, a lot nicer than the bars where I live. And uh, you, you can live? see down uh, all the way up to the, to the, uh, the coastal where plateau, area? where the, um, uh, the, the Bay of Mercy uh, stretched out in front of you, and uh, it's, it's right around sunset, so the sunlight is twinkling off of everything. Um, it's a gorgeous view. Wow. That's lovely. So as you uh, walk along this, uh, you sort of all fall in line behind Ronald. And uh, 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 he starts talking to you like, so how'd y'all get into dancing? I've always wanted to. How did you get into dancing? <laughs> um, so much. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know. I, um, uh, you know, how does anyone uh, get into dancing, yeah. I don't know if it's so much that you call yourself to dancing as much as dancing calls itself to you. It's you know, a real God-given I was God gonna say pretty talent. much that, actually. Yeah. That's, yeah, <clears throat> that's, you <throat> took the words right out of my mouth right there. Mm. Mm. Yes, I, I often do that. I wanted to dance for my church. They told me no. I asked why, they said, look at you. And now, Aww. I don't go to that church anymore. That's not fair. It's what Torag wants, what Torag wants, Torag gets. <sighs> One day this guy can teach you how to dance. Make Maybe your so. dreams come Maybe true. So. 
Anyway, after a, a brief time, y'all, y'all arrive, and you turn around the corner, and you see um, uh, a full-blown cathedral. It is entire, it's, uh, it, is, it rises in three, three tunnels straight back, three, three colonnades. Um, uh, it is of uh, gothic architecture. It's got the spires, it's got the flying buttresses, it's got this uh, beautiful rose window set in the, right, in the middle of the top. It looks as though somebody has taken a giant broadsword and just sliced it off at, a, at an angle. Um, so the tip of the spire is gone, and the entire leftmost uh, uh, cathedral tunnel is uh, broken open and displayed out to the night. Despite all this, it doesn't look closed. It looks like it's, take, it's, it's still, the, the yard is cared for. Um, uh, there are still torches flickering in all the, the sconces. Um, and uh, there, you see the, the, the window is lit up from behind, like it's still open and welcoming. However, um, the doors are st- slammed shut. And you see there's a, a like a, from, a, from a distance, you see a, a notice sort of pinned on the doors. And standing in front of the doors are two entirely unconventional looking people. Ronald goes, ah, that's them right there. You go better, I, they'll, they'll tell you what's going on. Well, I gotta get back. Yeah, right, the, uh, the late night rush is about to start. Now I just gotta figure out if it's a damned first loop or second loop. Turn right, turn, I'll figure it out. She wanders off. <laughs> Thank you. In the wrong direction. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and fun. standing from the doors, you see two strange looking figures who can introduce themselves now. Hey. Come hey. the camera. Welcome into this session. <clears throat> oh my God. Again? Ricky and Matt. Shellen. Huh? Shellen. <laughs> when did Shellen. you guys get here? Holy cow. This is such a surprise. It's Ricky and Matt. I know. I don't know who those people are. They sound like losers. I'm Lad Five. <laughs> You're what? Lad Five. Yeah, let's go through. So, so Matlock, tell us about uh, who you are and what your what 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 your deal is. Yes. Um, I've uh, multiple monikers. I'm no. Lad Five. I'm <laughs> High C, and I am uh, Ty Minotaur. Uh, Ty Minotaur is my Christian name. Lad Five is my stage name, and uh, High C is my uh, vigilante name. I'm in a band here with uh, this man. Before we move on to, to Ricky, I need you to tell me how you're dressed. I'm dressed so good. <laughs> I've got a lot of leather, a lot of, um, you know, classic anime, uh, just belts and studs of various places, uh, red and black. My hair is black and red. I'm looking down a lot like this. Uh, mysteriously, big boots, stuff like that. Great, thank you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ricky, tell us who tell us who you are and what's up. Uh, evening, uh, Joaquin Rojo. You know, just uh, out here chilling it. You know, spreading the word. Getting the love out there to all the girls and the girls with the love and mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking about. I know, I know about <laughs> and how are you, you know. dressed? Huh? How are you dressed? Like, have you seen <clears throat> the music video for Welcome to the Black Parade? I have not. Tell me about it. Okay, well, it's it's a marching band, full on, like, very nice, like all the, all the frills and buttons and stuff, except instead of black, it's all white with red as the, uh, as the accent color. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, red pants, red slacks, uh, matching his red slacks. How tight? Yeah, and that's huh? also how, how I'm tight? dressed. Uh, pretty tight. Mm. Like, there's a little bit of room for, for uh, Jesus? Shaylin. Sh- <laughs> Shaylin. You know, that seems worse. <laughs> and, uh, Shaylin you know, is very free love. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> we are just out here, you know, because all the girls out there... Their love. We do it for them. The love and the girls, you know. <laughs> and I take it back. Passion. I'm dressed like him as well. Also, but I take I take back everything I said. I'm no, you like can, you can black with the red. <laughs> no, I'm bl- I, but also I like the black parade thing. So I'm yeah, that, okay, all right, right, black right, and right. red, and a bit more casual because I'm the bad boy. Okay. <laughs> and so this is this is this your hood up or hood, hood down persona? These are hood down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mask off. <laughs> Mask off. <laughs> Okay, so y'all are standing here. Y'all are looking at a notice on your church doors. So this is, of course, the um, uh, uh, the uh, synchronized chapel of the Sonners Backstreets. It's been your home, your stage, uh, your 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 canvas, and your kitchen for um, uh, as long as you can remember, at least three months. Um, 
and y'all have uh, shown up to find a notice on the door. <clears throat> the this is awful. neither love nor girls. <laughs> nor girls or love. By virtue of the, of the authority vested in us, we, the members of Waypoint, uh, reclaim this property on cause of due back taxes. And uh, you know that these people, Waypoint, have been after your property for at least three months. Um, it's not about the taxes. It's about they hate you. They're just jealous. They're just jealous. They're just haters of all the girls. They have no girls at their offices. And the love. Or the love. And the girls. Where are the girls going to gather now? Yeah, I don't know. There's not going to be any love there. We can't perform in the streets. Not again. No. It's been so long. It's been so long. I got used to it in there. I know. I like our shower. What do you want to edit in on this? <clears throat> um, um, go ahead. Okay. Well, good sirs. If you need... No autographs. Um... Do I look like I need your autograph? I give the autographs. I'll take an autograph. Absolutely. Excuse me. Thanks. Writes on your forehead. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I give you kind of a look. I'm like, oh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, we are looking for uh, two gentlemen with a particular skill set. Um, could you help us find them? What, we like, know a little bit about stuff around here and the love around here and the light and the girls and the love. Yeah, if you need someone to spread love so musically, if you're looking you know, for that, that you. you know, light and love are known to repel demons. Would you would you know anything yeah. about how to repel demons or where to find someone who might know how to repel demons? No, there's no one like that here. We, we, we gotta just, we gotta go. We gotta we get have, out of I'm here. I'm sorry. We have we're a gonna, we have a real gonna emergency. Please don't. Can I use can I use my like, can I use my power as a girl to like get them to help us? Um, <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm wearing like a really slutty so outfit. We're by the way, we're gonna run right around the corner. I'm pretty sure the, you're the, the girl moment piece and love. Right. <laughs> we're literally going to walk back, but we are now. I have a okay. glass mask over my face. Oh, you can still see my face. It's just a lot more prismatic now <laughs> and definitely shines more. Okay. And I, you don't see how the mask is really being held on, but it's there. And it's got like a little bit of a chip so you can see this eye perfectly fine. Okay. Um, but, hello. I heard you were looking for some demon hunters. Wait, do we know that it's them? <laughs> I, I was gonna say I know this won't work, but I'd, I'd like to I'd like to roll to see if I can see through it anyway. You, you may make a perception check opposed to Ricky's disguise check plus twenty. That's not gonna. Happen. I know it won't That's work, but work. I wanted to try. Oh my god. Um. So I rolled a ten. So nope. add your disguise modifier. My disguise is yeah, no, didn't nine. Work. So you're at nineteen. So you have a thirty-nine check. Okay. Um, I so also rolled a one, so I have no... Completely different people. <laughs> I rolled a your, two? <laughs> oh, we are fool. I think it's that we're girls. I think that... <laughs> it are y'all st still hot? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's the same person, but with a, with a transparent mask on. I rolled a two! <laughs> Look, I'm Did in trance. Did you roll okay. I don't know if you uh, noticed. I'm I a girl. Total, I rolled like a 21, but it's still not enough. No. So we don't know who I look, I look exactly the same, except I put on colored contact, or con contacts. <laughs> One's like white, so it looks like one of my eyes is dead, then the oh other's like kind of red. But it's really hot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, your eyes are red now? Just one of them, and the other one's like white-ish. It's like kind of a, a David Bowie thing. I'm now holding a really thin halberd. Like just now? Yeah. Okay. It's like thin, though. It's not like a big bulky one. It's still long. Mm -hmm. And on the back end of the halberd, there's a microphone. And every time I stand... Oh uh, the microphone is pointed towards him. <laughs> okay. You have texted this to me, right? Huh? Have you texted this to me? Just out of, <laughs> curious, out of game? Out of I, I, will, I will send you all this. That is, a, that is yeah. an insane description, and microphone. I love both of your descriptions. Okay. Anyway. Um, uh, oh, do Cam check? Anything? Camera check? Okay. How's that? I, we... We are looking for demon hunters. Are you demon like hunters? Okay. Yes. Yeah, we've been known to demon hunt. I like that. We know, obviously. Mm -hmm. Can we can we hire you to hunt some demons that we're having a little uh, trouble with? Hire us? <laughs> no. No. Oh. However. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I that was not in character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However. I don't think the mics are gonna pick that up. We're just we like suddenly <laughs> laugh. <laughs> we could be convinced to help <laughs> some Maybe. girls. Who Girls? need some light and love and no less demons in their life and love. 
That sounds really similar to what the other guy was saying. Who? It's completely different. Who? <laughs> Who is that? Uh, forget I, it. Forget it. Um, we are. We. I. I am a girl, and I need help with demons. Well, you're lucky because uh, I am Unbreakable Diamond. My mask is clearly broken, but <laughs> <laughs> don't I regard that. I don't care. I rolled a one against your discussion. Uh, and my diamond is unbreakable against the demons. So what kind of... Perfect. Uh, I, I'm high C. <laughs> and then I do like a high. <laughs> it doesn't hurt you. I, I, want you. I want you to know that I can't hurt It only hurt hurts you. the demons. <laughs> if I wanted to, I go up to the edge of hurting Does you. this hurt me? <laughs> <laughs> it does not hurt you. It hurts your heart, but in good ways. <laughs> We're demon hunters. And then we do a pose. What kind of demon hunters? The best. How Great do you do hunters. this? Demon hunting. How does one do anything? Well, first we go and we find demons. Yeah. We ask a lot of girls about their love and where demons might be hiding. Yeah. It generally gets us on the right spot, and then we have a secret demon holding ritual. But uh, since the tax man came to this cathedral, the plethora of backup dancers is gone. Unfortunately, we cannot complete the ritual without a bevy of backup dancers. Would you guys happen to know any backup dancers? <laughs> I take it back. I'm satisfied with what I currently have. <laughs> I don't need to get into the whole demon fighting world. <laughs> it's, clearly got, it's clearly covered. I don't know. I think they're pretty great. <laughs> I, I, um... You don't think so? I don't know backup dancers, but, um... I could help you find money to get backup dancers. And can I say, it just hurts my soul that the man is taking away money from a cathedral. Wow. You get us. Mm -hmm. oh, I do. We get you. You get us. We get each other. We kill demons. <gasps> Are you we sure won you, our church. Have you ever danced before? I'm pretty sure you've danced. I've danced. <gasps> she danced. How did she you know I danced? danced? This could be the one. She might be. Do you dance? Girl. I... I mean, look at me. Doesn't it look like I dance? There are ribbons flowing around my whole body at all times, and I'm glowing, and I float. <laughs> she does dance. You should actually see dances. her dance. I think she, I think she, think she, she dances. should dances. actually show us how well she dances right now. Could you show us? Yes. You must show us. I drop to the ground from where I was in kind of a very Ooh. cute crouch with my arms backward. Not then a good I start. spring back up, and I swirl in the air, and then land like an ice skater in a very pretty way. I mean, you're pulling a lot of focus. We, you know, prefer if it was you a little know, backup more dancers, muted. you know, we like our girls and we it like the beautiful. love, but they, they're behind us. Okay, yeah, check this out. Check this out. I want to like make y'all's heads glow. I want to like create some light behind their heads. Oh my God, your head is glowing. <laughs> oh my God, your head is glowing. <laughs> is What's my head glowing? <laughs> it doesn't say anything. It's oh, just okay. a kind of like a glow. Does oh. mine say something? No. Do you guys like it? Oh, my are you doing glows. this? I'm doing it. Oh, wow. I have a lot of oh, celestial that be, energy. That could be helpful. Uh, I can do the hand hunt. drive. The what? The what? Hand drive. Uh, I don't know what that is. Could you show, could you show us? Yo, the hand drive. Should I roll a performance check? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hand drive is the one thing you can do without a performance check. You know, I, I require a performance check for this. Before a diamond can shine and 15. be unbreakable. Oh man, this is like a this is like a solid like. I'm not saying you'd get to the finals in a hand drive competition, but you'd definitely be like you'd make day two. <laughs> okay, hand drive, baby. You know, you know from Greece, which before is before diamonds can shine, sparkle, and be unbreakable like me. They gotta start somewhere and. And I don't think you're a dancer yet, but I think you're getting there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Girl, yeah. love, yeah. girl, light, love, love, demons. Love. All right. I don't okay, agree. Okay, you guys are needed back at this big statue we live in, so how about we all wrap this up and start <clears throat> heading that way? Um, yeah. Our home is here, Do and you we know have to get it back from the bank. Waypoint? Yeah. Anybody who can roll knowledge local to know about Waypoint? Waypoint? Waypoint. Hmm. Okay, I rolled a 10. 13. 25. Oh, shoot. Interesting. All right. So y'all two both know, uh, Waypoint is, is a fixture around here in a, in a, in a, in a city of uh, freedom and light. Waypoint is doing its best to um, be that kind of annoying person who has to do make something, uh, has to make the trains run on time. Uh, you know that they are uh, frequently, they're sort of like regarded like the HOA of, uh, of Aviel. Oh, uh, like no. they just, uh, <laughs> you know, they're always there like, hey guys, I know it's all about freedom and light, but like you gotta pay taxes. All that, you know, they just kind of keep the, Keep the water flowing. They, um, if somebody's putting any sort of restriction on something, it's them. 
um, you know a little bit more. You happen to know, thanks to your background, uh, you learned a lot about the shepherds, who are the, um, uh, the, the, the dark underworld of Aviel that uh, will do whatever is necessary to make things, uh, to keep that freedom going, even if it means murder. Um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, these shepherds are most frequently in conflict with Waypoint, because behind the scenes, Waypoint does a lot more than just keep the trains on time. Um, I guess we have trains. Hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, Waypoint does, uh, everything they do is legal. Whether or not they have coerced, bribed, or strong-armed somebody into making it legal is another question. Mm. Do they I need are to be um, setting timers. They, hmm? Sorry, do I need to be setting timers? Yeah. Okay. Um, Waypoint is known to uh, corrupt judges. They've been known to uh, occasionally uh, somebody who has uh, very strongly uh, who has indicated they're going to vote one way will come back with a broken leg voting the other way. Um, they have made uh, formatted all the laws to benefit them. Uh, mysteriously, the Waypoint itself uh, pays no taxes, but everybody assures them that it's completely legal. Um, they are a lawful but uh, a troublesome blight on Aviel, and this is completely in character for them. Gotcha. D but he only knows that. Yeah. It, are you going to share nope. that information? There's obviously you guys said nothing. Waypoint. Sorry. What about Waypoint? They want to shut us down. And they want to stop the love. We can't live without our cathedral of love and light. Oh, no and one girls. can. Thank you for understanding. Yes. Why aren't you yes. like her? Can we, can we just, can y'all go, we just want her, really. Oh. Right. oh. <laughs> you can have her. You guys can all just hang out together <laughs> after all this is done. I'm here to recruit you, so give me some um, more details on what exactly all is up? happening. Why? Huh? Are they all hood up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all hood up. What was the reason for this shutdown? Is it on the paper? Can I just kind of look at the paper? What does the notice say? <laughs> notice says, um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the notice says um, uh, that they are due to back taxes. Their, their cathedral has been reclaimed and seized by a waypoint, which is a little bit unusual because uh, uh, cathedrals don't normally pay taxes. But hmm. they don't normally pay. Do I know that? No. You know, yeah. you guys look a lot like less stellar versions of this really stellar person who once stepped into our lives. Have you guys heard of? Excelsior. Mm. <gasps> Brilliant. Yeah. Got us into demon hunting. She's actually the one that sent us. Oh. Wow. You should have started with that. Yeah, that, we could have uh, been friends a long time um, ago. You guys oh, don't look as stellar as her, but once again, diamonds, they start at a humble beginning before they become unbreakable like me. Isn't that right, High C? That's right. Absolutely. Wow. Well, Excelsior is our role model and um, confidant and uh, mentor. Role so model. we're getting there. She's fine. She's great. Shh. Role model. How can we help Excelsior? Help us. Help us. We're helping her. Great. So we just all work together and then it gets done. So. Excelsior can get us our chapel back. Almost definitely. Yes. And that is what we came here to tell you, actually. Great. That Excelsior wants to help you. We want to help her help us find the love, the girls. Ah, oh, the girls. The girls. Y yes. Um, would you, would you I'm boys like to come? I'm start banging my head against the wall of the building. <laughs> would you, would you boys like to come to fight exercise with us? You <gasps> yes. Of course. Oh, oh wait, yeah. like exercise with demons? Exorcise with an O. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we do that too. Yeah. But you know, yeah. it's, it's. It's probably exercise at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. I just I didn't get my pump today. I was upset about the church. Uh, the church, the gym is in the church. Yeah, and it's the, really uh, hard to maintain this body. So. The protein powder is in the church. Yeah. Hmm. Do you need inside? We would like that. We would yeah. like I to, to be break inside. the door. <laughs> yes. I just I'm rolling for strength. That's that, all you need to do. That's all right. Uh, or if it's just a melee attack roll, then that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. You go and you, and so there's a, there's a, there's a, it's been padlocked. Like you know, you you pull it and the chains give a little. They aren't off yet, but those like those those links definitely bent. I'll go again. Don't you know how to pick locks or something? Uh, not quite as good, but I got a you thirteen. Like a type. Thirteen. Sorry. Uh, um, you, you pull it again, and this time they don't really move more. I mean, you, if you if you gave it a minute, you could. At this point, you could pry them off. Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah. 
You just, you, you, well, y'all are, y'all are back, forth, back and forth thinking about exercising and uh, you, uh, Silverback, you just kind of stomp over and just <laughs> eventually uh, pull open, the chains fall to the ground. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, large person. Oh, great. We can get inside our cathedral. My belts. <laughs> My girls. There are girls in there? You have no, no yet. people not. in there? I hope not. <laughs> it's happened before. It has happened before. It was an accident. We have good security, though. Mm-hmm. At least we did. Mm. You didn't ask. This is Silverback, by the way. Who? Uh, who? Silverback. That's his name. I don't care. Oh, okay. And he I'm just helped you. Psycho Seer, and this is Aurora. Yeah. My name's Aurora. Like oh, the dawn, hi. you know, the dawn. Good I've heard of the light dawn. And yeah. love. I normally don't get to see and it. glory. Wow. So many girls and love and girls. Well, it's cute when she does it. <laughs> Would you like to come into our cathedral? Yes. You can be our guests. I have protein powder as well as demon hunting supplies. Various Excellent. juices. Various juices. Okay, I, that, you, I'm sold. I'll Let's take go. a juice. You want a naked juice? That's all I've got. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a brand, that's a brand of juice. Is <laughs> it brand, your brand of juice? It's a brand of juice. Bra- ju- no one drinks uh, naked juice? I've heard of it. I know what you're talking you. about. <laughs> it's a brand of juice. There's a pretty cool band we have that a sometimes sponsorship. plays here. And, I mean, uh, they have a sponsorship. Yeah, they have a they have a sponsorship. That's we don't have cool. sponsorships because we're demon hunters. We're demon hunters. Yeah, <laughs> we're not a band. <laughs> Was I talking? Did I say I wanted to get in there for my belts? I meant their belts. Their belts. We, they're a pretty cool band. Talk- we're pretty cool people with the the band. With the band. Can I have the juice? Yes. 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 The juice. <laughs> And the love. <laughs> so as you walk into the cathedral, um, you see uh, it's like I, like normally so cathedrals set up. You have your main uh, hall right with the, with all the pews on both sides, and off to the left and the right you have uh, naves with separate uh, 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 like little uh, areas usually for worship or chapels or things. This has all been replaced. Uh, instead of pews, there are just rows and rows and rows of folding chairs. Um, instead of a uh, uh, instead of an altar at the front, it's been replaced with a flat stage with uh, mirrors positioned all around it. You can see that this is all uh, that the um, the rose window uh, facing the front has been lit up with all these mir- there's all these torches. Have been, their light has been funneled into these mirrors to bounce it back up through the rose light. Um, uh, there's also uh, the 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 last fading uh, moments of sunlight are streaming in from the top right down across the stage at a, at a very stylish slant from the, the giant chunk of roof that's been sheared off. Um, and then uh, off to the left and right you have what appear to be um, uh, recording studios or practice rooms that have been <laughs> bless you, <Lert. laughs> that have been uh, uh, sort of retrofitted for um, uh, vocal performance. Anything uh, else that y'all would like to add about your space? Can I just ask if the, if the, if the giant shear on the building is stylistic or it is demon hunt. Um, to be uh, to be technical. It is hella stylistic. <laughs> well, I know it looks great, but is it on purpose? Well, you got the you got the cathedral for cheap because it was um, no longer good for services. Fair enough. Um, it definitely this this happened during your your demon attack. Okay, you, you're, you're, pre- you're uh, performing in a full blown cathedral, and then when the demons attacked, um, uh, that's when everything changed. Um, it, it sheared off the corner, and uh, y'all, y'all were, uh, with Excelsior's help, able to drive off the demons. This also contributed to y'all, to y'all being able to use this, shape, this space permanently, since it was a, a cathedral of Shellen to start with, and Shellen is all about the performing arts. The fact that y'all saved it during performance, uh, the pr- priest was uh, felt called to give it to you, since that's clearly what Shellen wanted. Uh, home sweet, not our home. Just a space I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's some other cool guys that call this place home, though. They are you guys so say hot. weird things. We gotta get to work. Yeah, absolutely. Demons. Are you guys gonna help us or not? Of yes. course. Great. Let's uh, let's go then, right? Yep. That's you don't want to hang out for a bit. Do. We could kind of hang out. I you got... just have to have the love. You know, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of time to hang out before, during, and after. No, just just during and after the the thing we're doing. Okay, just let me get changed. Right. Okay. I think they're great. All right, we're ready. <laughs> I've put on more belts. <laughs> How many? Like they're gonna help. How many belts? Just a, vi- just a few. <laughs> to total out about. <laughs> I'm picturing like, well, there's like seven up and down my leg. <laughs> belts. Oh my God. Small. He doesn't leave the house without at least 12 belts. <laughs> yes. Wow. Some of them are functional, most of them are not. <laughs> I'm drawing your characters right now, <laughs> and you guys make it increasingly difficult with the details you get. You're like, my face is a diamond, but it's not, and it floats, and it refracts light, but in a way that makes sense for face. Well, like, belts. whatever, and I'm wearing, like, an infinite number of belts. Um, I'm I, excited. I, sh- I should, I, I have a, I have a microphone that, like, like a police baton goes into a rapier, by the way. <laughs> 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 That's 
hot. Like that. Just for just for back, just for, so you know. All right. This so. whole thing has worked <laughs> on me. You doubted. <laughs> it, it worked. I'm like a teenage girl, sort of. Um, oh, did it work <laughs> on you too? It worked on you, girl. Love. I thought you were playing around. No, no. Um, I. Like, I <laughs> The fact that I rolled a one in perceiving who they were and that I'm like, I'm like kind of uh, like, I've lived a very conservative existence and Are not seen very many cute boys. We're yeah. the groupies. So at this point, um, uh, y'all do have access to your, your cathedral space, which is the space you need for your ritual. Um, if you would like to return with them to see what Excelsior can do about uh, uh, deal with Waypoint first, you could go that angle, or you could just do it right now. It's up to y'all. Y'all's, y'all's motives, y'all, y'all pick. I mean, while we're here, you know... We could do the demon hunting. That's true. Uh, do you think they're ready to dance? Are you guys ready? Uh, it's a quick dance. You'll get it real quick. Yeah. I mean, we just got to restrain the demon that comes forth from hell, and then yeah, we're, we'll be on our way after you that. You need other Sorry, people to happening? dance? It's like a... V- it's, it's like... It's just a ritual no vacuum cleaners of sorts. Here either. Uh, it's like this dance. It attracts all the love and the light. And the demons like the love and the light. They want to eat it. They want to eat it up. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna dance with you guys, and it's gonna pull the demons into the into the stance real quick. And then we're and then we're here. gonna fight them. Um. Why? Well, you wanted demons. Did you want to kill the demons, right? You want to hunt them? Y'all can't do it by yourselves. Uh, we need backup dancers. Yeah. To complete the to ritual. To compare to us. I, I mean, are there like specific <laughs> demons you're going after, or? Yes. Are there specific demons you're going after? I mean, no, kinda. I'm here for you. I would like to bring you back to the Aegis Well, All right, we can go possible. back first and figure out what demons we're supposed to fight first, but we're generally not too picky. We, we fight all the I demons. I mean, there are demons in the building now. We love all How? the girls. We fight all the demons. So these are our rules. How magnanimous. What does that mean? Great spirited. <gasps> Thanks. Thank you. This might be difficult. <sighs> What do you What do you think we should do? Oh, um. <laughs> um. I think we should tell them to go to the place we want to, and we'll dance there and attract the demons. Where was the last place we saw? You've got to have enough dance for both of us, right? I mean, if you want, you can just like hold onto my waist while I spin around. Actually, I'm not very strong. That might not. This work. is not. That's not a good idea. I, I take want. that back. I don't like it. We know two really excellent choreographers. Oh. They'll help you <laughs> learn to dance. Uh, we're not them. Not to be rude, but I feel like if you guys are good at what you do, you don't always need other people to dance for you. Just. It's about creating a contrast between the good and the bad, the light and the dark. You said it. You said it. The you were talented and the untalented, so to didn't say. Didn't you just say I was talented? You are. You just are. Just less so than us. And that's important for any good group. Look, a diamond doesn't shine if there's not not diamonds but to I, not but shine. I, I literally shine constantly. And that's great. My body is made so of light. So do I. Look, 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 watch. I can make <clears throat> my light enhance your light. I want to shine light from my fingers into his mask so it goes like, like a prism. Do you want to make a perception check real quick? Sure. <laughs> oh, is something happening? The no, no, of course not. Uh, not unless you're all f- high enough. I might have lost the plot. What am I doing? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> the girls. <laughs> Why am I here? Uh, They're asking you to help you perform a ritual to bind a demon to ask them where the other demons are. That's right. Thirteen. That's Why right. do I want to do that? Seven. Oh, because the idea was they were going to help you get back to the cathedral, which they yeah. did. Nine. Yeah. They, yeah. Okay, what did y'all get? Thirteen. Nine. Seven. Cool. All right, nothing's happening. It's fine. All right. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, demon hunting, or protein shakes? <clears throat> All of a sudden, um, uh, y'all realize that y'all are not alone in this cathedral, and a battalion of uh, uh, troops have uh, uh, walked in, about five of them. Uh, one of them is standing, there's like four soldiers in a uh, half plate, each with spears, and at their head is uh, someone in full plate with a great sword on her back. It was, this place has been reclaimed by Waypoint. Okay. I need y'all to vacate the premises immediately, or we will resort to violence. That was fast. Um, um, no, we have every right to be here. Can I run back toward in like a into a closet, real quick, so I'm I can going to transform back? Just me. Okay, I do that. <laughs> my boy here, um, and I'm gonna just do a little spin move. It's really stylish. 
and uh, you can't see my face during it, and the mask is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to walk up to the officers. I'm like, I'm so very sorry. There were broken chains on the floor. I didn't know that we weren't supposed to be in here. There the was sort of... still posted on the door. Don't give me this. If you would like, you have one I chance have... to come with us back to the Waypoint office, and we can discuss this there. If you do not move... Okay. We will fight. Can I come back out? Sure. In my excuse me, excuse me. These these boys are in my custody. Um, you know me, right? I don't need to introduce myself. Pippa Rose, acolyte of Grotta. Yes. How do you do, ma'am? Yes. Um, I am doing fine. Thank you for asking. Um, please do not apprehend uh, these youths. We, they are in a rehabilitation program right now, and I'm about to take them somewhere for lawbreakers so that Sir Ren Ray can minister to them. Please roll bluff. You can make an advantage on your bluff due to your government position. Um, I can give plus one because I'm a team player. Go for it. <laughs> can I roll like perform or something? Oh, shit. You can do your advantage so you can roll twice and take the higher. Okay. <laughs> so good. Um, no, it wasn't. Uh, okay, I rolled a 10 total. 10 total? You know what? That'll you get my plus one? Okay. Plus yeah. one is for yeah. 11. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a difficult lie to believe. Um, Incidentally, I believe you also have feigned innocence, which we might want to try next time, I think. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, they don't... I was trying to feign innocence. <laughs> I have, like, profession acolyte or something in a very it, high... If you do, if you want to, to roll profession acolyte instead, you can have that bonus. But it okay. works already. It's plus two. Okay, yeah. Okay, plus two. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, all right, well, who am I to question the availing government right now? As long as you remove them from these premises... It's fine. Don't there. come back without a notice. Without what we are due. Excuse me? Are you talking to them or me? Anyone. This is Waypoint property. And while I'm happy to have you remove these delinquents, don't think he does, or she does turn back over to them at this point. But they are welcome back without their taxes. That's how we can present a lawful and orderly society, as I'm sure you are most comfortable with, Acolyte. We pay our taxes and love and light. Shh, boys, we're coming. We're coming with me. Don't talk anymore. Yes, ma'am. I hear you. Thank you for your service. We leave. I want to take everyone out. <laughs> okay. I'll leave too and just maintain eye contact with the, the front one the whole time. Creepy, Can they see black, your eyes? You just have <laughs> no, I have like Jason, like a metal like Jason mask thing oh, on, yeah, basically. Yeah. So <laughs> I was gonna say I didn't draw you with any eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just, just head swivels as I go. Cool. <laughs> we will but think I'm the creepy one. <laughs> I guess you know who I am now. Maybe. Okay, it's I don't know. Okay. Right. Nope. If y'all would like, y'all has not gone. <laughs> That's not how this works. Wait, real quick. Does it mess up her reputation at all to be seen with me by these people? Do they know the image of um, my they, armor? So far, you haven't had any run-ins with Waypoint yet. I haven't, but I wasn't the only one who's worn this right. armor. Um, uh, well, you know, we'll have to see, won't <laughs> <Okay>. we? <laughs> um, it definitely depends on who this person is exactly. That's true. Um, and, and what her relation is with, like, she. this may be her first time experiencing you, or maybe not. We don't know yet. So, y'all exit the cathedral. Um, Waypoint stays. That's harsh. So, this uh, is not love. I guess it's not girls. Back, right? I guess so. Where's the? We're missing the other one though. Oh, she's gonna. She she'll follow. No, I'm saying Ooh. there's there's one of them, and oh. then there's the original guy. But I don't know where the face mask guy went. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you also okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he has step out. Oh, d isn't it time for you to go? It is. I got rehearsal uh, for the celebration of when we get this place back, because uh, I heard some pretty cool demon hunter guys like you. Hey, cool. Nice hey, to meet you. To meet I've you. never met. I've, I've never met you. I, but you're good. I heard you're pretty cool. Thank yeah, you. I'll go rehearse. I'm I'll on leave. to this. Can <laughs> 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 make another perception? This is worth a second check. I probably at a certain point. Uh, come I feel back. Like I, uh, with the prison I feel like mask I don't again. need it. I think I figured it out. <laughs> I, I did. I did roll higher this time. <laughs> I got a I ten. Only, I rolled twenty three instead of a twenty one. You know, uh, Y'all are justified in your suspicions. I, none of you are convinced that this isn't uh, uh, sus. <laughs> you know exactly sure what's going on, um, but uh, just keep it going. You guys have the exclamation points. You just can't find Solid Snake. Let's just <laughs> bring them both back. See what, what was happens. that noise? All right. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stay in my this persona. Okay. Um, for all intents and purposes, I, Pippa, am going to escort you to the place we need to go. 
Fair enough. Go on. Back yeah. to the tower. Yeah. This is a youth rehabilitation program, and you're all with me. Got it? Yes, I'm a youth. I'm a youth. Hello, youth. I've rehabilitated before. Some love and some girls. Perfect. All right, let's, let's take go. these youths into a bar closet and get this over with. You may remember we didn't do this last session, but anytime and we did this in the previous, uh, the previous volume, previous before the reboot. No one quote me on that. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> uh, to get back to the tower, all you have to do is go to a bar, any bar, and as long as you have the intention of entering the Aegis from when you when you open the, the door, the entire bar is frozen in a trance-like state until you get to the back closet. Cool. Oh, I did not remember oh. that at all, but it's okay. okay. Second, if, you, if you try and deviate from uh, the path towards the back closet, it breaks the trance. So, mm -hmm. But you can essentially... Uh, while while entering through the, the tavern closet is um, uh, an ordeal, getting back is not a problem. Okay. I guess All we right. find right, so the bar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We can. You all have uh, you all uh, managed to get through the right loop all the way back. You get the right to the left, all the right. You as you, as you walk in, you see um, uh, from a small distance that Ronald has just gotten back. Um, <laughs> but as soon as you enter, uh, you you throw open the doors. It is all frozen, and y'all just toddle back to the back closet. Yep. And y'all are back at the clavicle. Cool. Wow. Great. Wow. All I've ever found in closets was love, and girls. I'm convinced. That All right, well, there's lots of both of those here. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go deliver them to. So far, the only thing they do, they need other people for. So that's. A good I haven't point. seen them do anything personally, so let's the bring them to Excelsior. Are we sure you have the right people? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all gonna make it back to the Aegis and uh, escort them back down towards the visor, which is where the main, the, the central war room is. I guess it's technically up. Y'all escort them up to the visor. Um, which incidentally has something that looks an awful lot like windows um, along the back. It's a, the, the visor is itself uh, very much a, it's a, a large circular room um, about, oh, I would say 40 feet across. Um, and across the back wall of it, there is a uh, what looks to be a bunch of arched windows that look out over the caldera. It's, um, they're not windows. It's a magical effect. But that, that view is, in fact, on the other side of that stone. So... Anyways, you see Excelsior is standing with, well, one arm folded behind her, sort of staring out the visor. Uh, Go for it. We, uh, we found your guys, maybe. She turned back around. If you tell me we're wrong, it will honestly be a huge relief. She says, Lad Five, <gasps> it has been too long. Excelsior. Tell me, how has the business been? It has been so juicy. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> And Joaquin Rojo, how are you today? I've been great, Excelsior. How have you been? You know, it's been okay. Uh, we had some rough times. I thought we were going to have to uh, change how things worked. But luckily, I managed to find these excellent replacements. You see, she start, almost tries to gesture with her right side before stopping herself and holds out her left and said, these excellent replacements to, uh, uh, I've retired, in case you didn't know. Um, but we're going to still on the right track. And in fact, I'm thinking we can bring y'all on to help out as contractors. So how do y'all know each other? Oh, that was the funniest thing. I was out uh, actually getting groceries and I just happened to see uh, uh, a Marilith demon sweep in to interrupt. Their, have you seen these people perform? They're amazing. They're incredible. And actually, I thought, no. Oh, well, you must if you get the chance. I don't know when your next show is. Well, but. since we're all exchanging secrets here, I've got one I must reveal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. I know. Now you have to gasp at a higher pitch. How could huh. someone like me? No, that's the opposite of gasping. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Gallivant at night. Yeah, kind of went. Slaying and demons. I went. And I went. I asked myself. Yes. That's Sorry. What happened. Sorry. And I asked him. Huh? And I asked myself again. I don't know. But I do it. Such poets. This is why you're so popular. Well, we called you here for reasons. Uh, we have some need of your skills. Uh, you have, if I remember correctly, a developed a specific demon binding ritual. Correct. We have. We have a problem with demon possession, and we need to ask somebody uh, where we can find the demons and what they're up to. That's going to require asking somebody with a bit more know-how and a bit more power than we're comfortable just tracking down on our own. So we're hoping you can hold her while we do it. Hmm. Well, you know, we've done this before. We could do it again. Yeah. Excellent. It's going to take all of my love, but we can do it. I only have one problem with it, which is I can't be there to help you. <gasps> Ever since my injury, I can't 
Dance? Be near, well, <laughs> I haven't tried, but I think I'd probably, that's, I've still got, well, I don't know. <laughs> I can't be around the demonic energy that swirls in the room. It'll aggravate the wound, and I can't have that. You were one of the greatest backup dancers we ever had. I know, I know. We had some great nights. It was, uh, and some better victories, but I just have to pass on the torch for the moment. Okay. Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe. In the meantime, I'm sure these people will be excellent backup dancers. I've seen them <laughs> not dance. Some, sometimes it looked a bit like a dance. Sometimes it, they'll, they'll do fine. Um, I just have to isolate myself. We're going to miss you. I know. I'm going to miss watching you. Well, that I was already weird. Miss you. Mm. All right then. Who are we? Uh... Oh wait, I do this to her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She 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 receives the signal and puts her hand her hand over her heart and then backs out of the room. Cool. Um. So. So you guys know what to do next. Where's this demon? Just point us in the right direction. I don't know. I thought you were supposed to know where the demon was. <laughs> Sorry? The idea is, this is, so the ritual y'all have. Right. The ritual summons a demon. It summons a demon it, it's, and it's, binds it's, it. It's not, it's, not necessarily, it's not necessarily a specific demon. It's a demon of specific rank. Okay. Um, the idea of which being a demon of specific rank will be able to give you the information on the other demons you need. All right. Here's how it goes. You dance with us. We enthrall the demon. A captain demon. Mm. Demon captain, we call them. Right. Yeah, in, it's in a the, rank. I, okay. In the world of demon hunting, you wouldn't know of such things. It's, it's very okay. hierarchical. Uh-huh. So we're gonna summon a demon and question it. You, you got it, have bub. to question it. You guys don't do the All questioning. Right. We'll be you busy. Want them to do the questioning? Uh, no, sorry. That was we'll be busy holding it with our dancing. All right. Excellent. Uh, actually, sounds like a pretty decent plan. Sure. <laughs> it sounds like your area, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, is this uh, how we're supposed to approach the other uh, case? Would would dancing have worked? I. Dancing solves all um, problems. I've never danced to try. But you have to dance with love. Oh, that was the problem. I wasn't dancing with love last time. Mm-hmm. Okay. How can you not? We fight like dancing, you know. Yeah. Well, where should we summon this demon? Just here? Do you have a uh, back there's room, a, maybe? There's a particularly, there is a, a room um, for arcane rituals uh, located in the left boot. Oh, wow, let's go there. It's, um, it, it is well shielded from uh, most cosmic energies, and um, should you uh, uh, fail and the demon escape, the room will lock down and uh, you will not be able to get out. Dang. But it won't either. Fair. All right. Well, let's give this a shot. If they can hold it down. Uh, she and I can be backup bodyguards, and you can do the questioning. I can do the questioning. Excellent. That's what I do. God. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to the boot. Let's go to the boot. <laughs> so we take the we take the boot elevator <laughs> from the clavicle. You mean boot the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I mean? Just Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. There's a reason Excelsior was in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. All right, we will Whoa. head to the boot. Bring him back. Well, you were uh, aggressively folding paper. <laughs> I I'm, uh, I, I'm preparing a small, a, a small supply necessary for this part. Next part. Okay. Oh. It should have been note cards, but I forgot my note cards. So. Are we doing break soon, or Actually, are we doing my uh, uh, pretty soon? Okay. This will be after this, after this, <laughs> this like, next activity. I okay. I love this. Yes. More belts. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know where to put the belts at this point. He has them run out of he space. He has them going up his leg. <laughs> up his leg. Like his pants. So wait, the whole. Wait, you like their pants? Like they're like, they're like going they're up your, your leg, pants? right? Can you see well, your skin? N- n- it, it's over the pants. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like it's just, just like it's silent. Just you, ever like, belts. you ever looked at a leg and been like, "There's not enough accessories from like knee to thigh." You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Put some accessories. It's the only way I look at legs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh. You guys are great. I love oh, your yeah. characters. All right. <laughs> <laughs> One second. I'll be, be ready. All right. Uh, I'm doing vocal warm ups. Mommy made me match my M&M. Oh, no. Mommy made me match my M&M. Mommy <laughs> we have anything to advertise? <laughs> Probably something on DFTVA at this point. I don't know what it is. Did you so, ever have the many mumbling mic? I denounce you as still available. <laughs> we have, um, uh, so you go down to this room in the boot, and this room in the boot is um, excellently set up. It's got, already got the pentagram you need inscribed uh, across the entire room. It's actually right. not that different from the war room. It's a little bit smaller, maybe like uh, 25 feet instead of 40 feet. I feel like this would make me uncomfortable. 
Uh, I mean, it's kind of homey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, um, it does, it does, it is kind of like one of those things like, oh, this is a room I, 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 my people use, except they're using it to, ooh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little, a little weird. <laughs> right. It's fine. Um, I'm ready. So, you have, uh, but this is, uh, the idea behind your ritual is, of course, it requires five people um, mm-hmm. in a pentagram, and the rest, you know what, is up to y'all. So y'all describe how you, what you would like these fine folks to do to, co- to sign up a demon for your ritual. Getting ready. So we're obviously in the middle of the pentagram, back to back, <laughs> and then we need y'all uh, making a triangle on the other three points of the pentagram, facing out, not looking us in the eye ever during the performance. <laughs> ever. I want to make that very clear. N- noted. It's going to be tough. We're going to be pulling a lot of faces, being very compelling in general. It's going to be hard not to just stop what you're doing and stare agog, mouth agog. All right, let's do but this. Gonna, yeah, I'm, 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 do I'm preparing best. you. Yeah. We'll be at 116 beats a minute. Yes. I need hip swivels on the second and the fourth. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Watch okay. for key changes. Do not forget the hands, people. Do not forget the hands. I've never forgotten my hands once. They, they all have hands, right? <laughs> They're not like slugs yes. or anything. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Excelsior had a problem with this, but it's yeah. not, not like, like slugs what? or anything. Slugs, oh, yeah, you no. guys, actually, it's, you guys are human too, right? Like I'm just yeah, assuming. We're yeah. human. Okay. They're both human. Yeah. Okay. We're all, and we're all pretty human. much. A well, they, he's human. a tiefling and she's a I have Asimar, hands. So yeah. Okay. Uh, That's why human, I'm demon, you. human, angel, human. Snap on the first every five measures, and uh, ladies, gentlemen, this is fun. So just smile. Just already it's facing smile. a wall. I'm just over the car, just standing smile. perfectly still. Yeah. As you, uh, <sighs> as you get this ritual started, go ahead and make um, uh, three perform checks. Um, I also you need to three? transform back into myself. Three. Go ahead. All of us? Okay. I, yeah. Okay. I'm going to transform. <laughs> okay. Um, I have performed dance. Uh, Are we doing it too? Yeah. Well, my perform dance is at plus eight, so I guess you can have a perform dance at plus eight. <laughs> I rolled a 13, so my perform is 12. Um, my perform is a 26. Cool. Glad that my number Did you say is three also or one? Three of them, three of them. Okay, three. Oh, okay. three separate Gosh. perform checks. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so I've got a 16. So can I roll with advantage or no? We roll like three times. Yeah, y- y'all, can, oh, yeah, yeah, y- y'all, can, y'all can definitely roll. I'm not really worried about y'all's rolls. <laughs> y'all can roll with advantage if you want. Um, three 20s. <laughs> Yeah, this is y'all's ritual. Y'all are the ones who get to say whether or not it goes poorly or not. <laughs> Over here, Silverback, three? what are your three rolls? I got a 12, huh? 15, and a 10. Three? All right. No, did you you Psycho I Seer, what'd you get? Roll three times. What? I have 17, 24, oh, and 19. All right. And uh, Aurora? 26. Roll two more times. I already did. Okay. But none of them were as high. That's okay. How high were they? Uh, 13 and 10, so uh, plus 11. All right. So tw- they're all in the 20s. I have good news. I was looking to see if anybody was going to get less than a 10 at any point. Um, <laughs> y'all do not destroy the ritual in the, in the, in the performing. Uh, please, describe how it goes. Uh, you know, well, it's a little bit of this. You know, a little bit of that. I'm the lead singer. He's got the vocals. I'm doing a lot of the vocals. I'm harmonizing. I'm I've pulling got... faces. Right. Of course. We're it's always less pulling. about the dancing for me. Yeah. More about the singing. I've got him. I'm on the other side of him. I'm yes. back on the other side of him. <laughs> you cannot keep up with my movements. I do this behind him, make it look like he has four arms. <laughs> the demon's like that. <laughs> um, and then uh, the chorus to Boy With Love comes on, and uh, you don't know where it came from. We don't know where it comes from. It's part of the ritual. It comes from the ethereal plane. Can somebody sing it? Um, I'm the harmony, and he's got the melody. We don't need this copyright, Shrek. <laughs> and, uh, I don't with, think it all... <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. At the, at the highest note, uh, a demon just arrives squealing in the oh. center of this pentagram. All right. So, and that does in fact happen. Um, I, I'd like to add in, definitely there's a light show going on. Um, the room flashes from dark to light. It seems like stars are twinkling throughout the atmosphere. Um, there's just bolts of purple and green that just kind of flow through. Um, the sound of teenage girls screaming coming from the room. And boom, lights go up. In the middle of the room, there's a flash of smoke. And inside the middle of this pentagram, I suppose both of y'all moved back out and it was like pointing. Um, right. uh, there is in fact a succubus sitting in the middle of the room. My hips can't stop gyrating. If they stop, then she'll be free. <laughs> I've been holding the high note this whole time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, Psycho Seer. It's up to you guys yeah. now. You know the succubus. Yeah. You do. What? Um, 
And so, um, I didn't tell you that. So. <laughs> uh, she screamed into existence and says, "Who dares to bind mm. you?" Hey, you. girl. You. You think I will come this easily? No. No. She begins to fight back, and so for a moment the wor- the room warbles ba- black and purple, and uh, I'm going to need a, a few things from y'all. How about two things? First off. Oh, Woof. what's happening? Paper. Paper. Oh, paper. Blank paper. Mm. Now I have many mumbling mice stuck in my head. Because <laughs> of Matt. I would like. I'm so bad at drawing. Okay, look good. Thanks. One should be black. I would like each of you to write down on one side of the paper the worst thing that has ever happened to your character. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> On the other side of the paper, I would like you to write down the worst thing that could ever happen to your character. Huh. Do I need Don't to like where designate? This is going. Do I need to designate? <laughs> yes. Get out of here. I don't have a pan of waiting for yours. Hello. Uh, well, this is happening. So you see, she is psychically lashing out at all of you. Uh, you see, you feel each of you, you feel your, uh, your mind being peeled back as she tries to her darndest to uh, peer into the depths of all of your experiences. However, you note, she's only accessing half of everything you know. She can't seem to get past the wall that separates your persona. So she's delving into specifically the, the depths of the minds of Silverback, Psychoseer, and Aurora, not Owen, uh, Caprice, and Pippa. This is the worst thing that could happen to our superhero side? Uh, Yes. Tieflings are half demons, right? They have somewhere along their, uh, in, their, in the process of being born, demonic energy is involved in the thing somewhere. She, uh, you notice at this point that y'all are all frozen. And she is pacing around the room. Oh. oh. This seems to have backfired, boys. <laughs> you also can't talk. <laughs> Did you see her sort of, well, you think you can hold me? Before you can hold me, you need, I can't even believe you can hold yourselves. Let's see. And she turns to Owen, or to Silverback. You. And you see the entire, the, suddenly the entire room uh, goes like, it's like y'all are floating in a void, and suddenly y'all are, float, y'all are all uh, witnessing a, a scene, as if played on a movie, of a, a, a lowly thug uh, walking down the back streets. You think you're fit to be a hero? Is that really true? And suddenly you see uh, a shadowy figure, it's you, jump off of a, a, the top of a, a street corner and just slam this thug into paste on the ground. <sighs> yes. Such a hero. How close does this match what you wrote down as the worst thing that has ever happened to your hero? I see. Uh, no, oh, yeah, right. nope. Nope. There have been worse. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get to write it, he was waiting for my pen. I knew what it, I knew, I knew what it is, Delta. And I'm, um, uh, uh, all right, so in that case, you will have advantage on the save I'm gonna ask you to make in a moment. Okay. Um, and she, she turns, she continues walking around the circle. She comes to you, Psycho Seer. It's hardly a surprise, is it? And suddenly the entire room flashes back and forth. Um, uh, uh, and you are now in a uh, oak paneled office. Um, you, much younger looking, um, still with your makeup on, because this is an old style you've, been, you've, you've worked with, uh, sulking in a chair, Constantius Scrim, your tiefling uncle sits behind a desk, and he, as he, he is roaring at you. What did you think would happen? You can't lose control, not for one second. And suddenly you see uh, you just blast out with psychic fury as, uh, as you uh, dig into his mind and he throws his eyes back. How close is this match? What you wrote down as the worst thing to happen to your character. Well, I have a question. Yeah. Um, was I close to my uncle? Uh, at this point you were, um, you had a lot of hope in, your, in his mentorship for you. Close, was I close uh, to my uncle when I found out he was evil? Uh, when you found out, you were like, as in like, uh, in, the, in, in our game? Yeah. No, you were pretty distant from him at that point because uh, he had exiled you. Because okay. of this, you do feel very guilty about this. Okay, then it's probably the worst thing that ever happened to me. You will get disadvantaged on the save. Great. Um, Aurora, she comes back down to you. <laughs> she, she stares into your eyes, and suddenly the entire room goes flat black, and it stays flat black, and you see a, uh, um, uh, 
a demon with a goat's head charge you with a halberd and slash you across the chest, and you feel all the strength leaving your body. That was what I wrote down, so... Disadvantage on your save. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> how, do you, how are you guessing this stuff? This is difficult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen you before, demon. Uh, here's, here's what I'm going for, okay. This is, this is more fun. Um, uh, y'all are both back to back dancing. Mm. Uh, you're singing, mm. you're dancing twice as much. Um, when suddenly a Meritleth demon screams through the ceiling of your church uh, with, a, with a, a claw attack that shatters your, your face mask, um, just look along one eye, and you, you lose your vocals for a second. How close does this match up to whatever it may be that you wrote down? Not even no, close. No, not even close. <laughs> Great, all right, okay. Y'all get advantage on the save. She turns back to the middle of the, the room, and the whole thing, the whole room flashes again, uh, just uh, bright red. Um, y'all may all please make will saves. Um, if you have advantage, you roll twice. If you have disadvantage, roll twice. Either way. What do I add to my will save? Oh, shit. How many do we roll? Oh, disadvantage, right? Bad. Disadvantage, yeah. Bad. What's our will base? Uh, so it's, it's going to be. It's um, this one that we add to it? Yeah. It's 10 plus your class base. Um, which is probably, uh, I think I'll pro- so Vigilante has strong will, I think. Um, so I think it's, can somebody check on their character sheet and see what the plus, the, the will bonus is at level five? At level five? It should be in your character recording box, your class recorder. It, it's just a, like a number. Like Vigilante? Yeah, well, yeah, either one. Because uh, y'all, y'all, four. Four, so plus four, so it'll be, it'll be um, wisdom plus four plus ten. Wisdom plus what? four plus ten? Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. No, it's so. uh, wisdom. That's that's DC. It's just wisdom plus four uh, plus your roll. All right. So just um, that makes so in that more case, sense. I have bravery, so I get plus one to will saves. Sure. Um, so oh, you're good. You're good, baby boy. Wait, wisdom yeah, plus four. Um, you got it. You're just, you're oh. I've got a that twelve was. total. Twelve total. What about you, High C? Uh, it's over 25. I can't do the math, though. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Unless okay. I'm doing this wrong. I, it does. It's 16 plus, what's your, so 16 plus 4? 4 How are you going to get 16? Oh, is that wisdom's your roll? Wisdom's 8 His roll is 16. Okay, so wisdom is 8, which is a minus 2. Okay, um, so minus not, 1. What? Minus 1. My, 2 down from 10? 2 down from, because 9, yeah, okay, so minus, because it, well, it's on the evens. Yeah. So 10 is 0. Uh, then nine is zero, so nine is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight is minus one, yeah. Eight is minus one, so then that's uh, plus three, so 19? 19. Okay. All right, uh, so it's 21. 21, Psycho Seer? Minus 22. Okay. Seven. Seven. <laughs> this is not your zone. No, All I right. gotta, so, I um, so if y'all could all just mark down, um, okay, uh, Psycho Seer, Silverback, and um, uh, High C, y'all pass. And, uh, uh, Brilliant, or unbreakable Un- diamond. Unbreakable diamond. Unbreakable diamond, and Aurora, y'all both have, we can put an X on yours. All right, and she goes around the room a second time. Put an X on what? <laughs> if you think, just because you've only, uh, what you have done so far is the worst that you can, that you will see. I bet not. She goes through, she'll start back in the back half of the room. Um, she, you see, uh, Heisey, you're singing in concert. The room flashes. This is a, this is a new vision. Uh, you're back in the cathedral. There are more lights than there have ever been. It is more packed than it has ever been. Uh, and suddenly you hit a sour note. Everyone <laughs> stops, gasps, and then they leave. <laughs> How close? It's not that close. I, okay. What did you write? I can't tell him because he's going to do it yeah. again. All right, so here's, 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 um, uh, oh, no, here's, here's how this, this, this half works. <laughs> All right, here, here's how this works. If you fail this one, it's just a straight failure. If you pass it, um, you can have a flat, a flat check. You can reveal your greatest fear to immediately pass the check. Hmm. But she'll know it. Hmm. So you can keep your secret and just hope that your roll's high enough? Yeah, I'm keeping my secret. OK. Yeah, you don't have an X yet. And, wait, and, wait, and when you, am I che- referencing between the two things? It's just like, uh, so this is, this is the worst thing you believe that could happen to your character. Yeah, Not right. the worst thing that did happen? Not the worst thing that okay. did. Yeah, this is, this is a future potentiality. Got it. We come over to you, Brilliant Diamond, uh, and you see uh, you dancing. Uh, not only do you trip 
You fall, you spray across, you knock him over as you do it. <laughs> Not close. Okay. You're going to keep your set. So, hold on. So, if I... Uh, I can reveal it? You can reveal it, and then you pass the check immediately. Okay. Because um, uh, I, 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 I failed like, the last one. You failed so, the last one, which probably um, might influence your... My greatest fear is high C dies because I'm not there for him. Okay. Aww. That's nice. That wasn't the farthest from what I had. I can, you can see we're on the same plane there, so that's okay. Um, you, uh, she kind of like hisses back and goes, I'll remember that. She uh, floats back around, or she, she paces back around to, um, uh, to you, Aurora. Mm -hmm. um, and you see the entire, the entire, uh, uh, the, the scene bubbles away, and it fizzes back. You're in the courtyard of uh, the Charter. Uh, the, the very tippy top of Aviel, there's a courtyard, and there's a two-story fountain that, that roils over with holy flame. Um, you see you kneeling before it. The whole fountain has run dry. And you're calling out to the gods, and none will answer. Uh, that's right. Yes, that's right. Um, you failed the check. Okay. Um, she cycles over to you, uh, Silverback, <clears throat> and she, views, she, she pierces into your, into your, your mind, and you see uh, uh, you're, back in a, you're in a dark room. It's, a, it's sort of a, 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 uh, it's a building that has all the windows shuttered. There's a dark closet been thrown across uh, the, any sorts of light. It's a long, narrow hall of a room. At the back, there's a dark altar. And you see a shadowy figure, and she says, For, Come forth, Silverback, and today I grant you the rank of Master of the Shepherds. And puts a crown on you. That's pretty much exactly what I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you will uh, also fail the check. Meanwhile, she turns and says, And you, Psycho Seer, I have something different in mind for you. You know, he's not dead. You see the, the face of your uncle uh, rears up of just giant across the entire room. Do you hate him? Yes. He betrayed you. He betrayed both of us. He betrayed everyone. You don't have to let that lie. You could come with me. We can kill him for good. Can I see anybody else? No, it's just you and you and her and, and Scrim's face sneering in the void. <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. She holds out her hand. I'll take her hand. You both float up. And there's like sort of, and the whole, everything flies away. You're back in the stone room at the bottom. By the way, you should check block 62. Her voice uh, fl flits away. Have some fun. Wait. One of you was offbeat. I feel like that didn't go the way it was supposed to. Also, Psycho Shears is gone. Did we see her go? Or? No, it's like everything went black for y'all. And uh, when, your, when your eyes came back up, she was gone. <laughs> what happened? We should have had more rehearsals, honestly. Honestly, what happened? Where did she go? I think you were out of step, honestly. I'm going to grab him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm just crying at this point. Maybe. I'm, I'm coming over. I'm like grabbing you and like picking you up. What did you just do? Where is Caprice? Demon got her. I'm just gonna like slam him against the floor. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> fine, yeah. Am I like conscious and stuff? Like what's happening? Oh, you are bawling. You are every 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 possible uh, 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 failure you've ever felt, and every every insecurity you've ever uh, thought maybe makes you not a hero are now coursing through your head. Okay, I'm crying. Uh, we we've never done that uh, alone before. Uh, what do you mean alone? There were three of us here. Well, we always had. Uh, What's her name? Excelsior. Excelsior was. Kind yeah, of she picked us to replace her. Crying We're intensifies. here. Why did that happen? You have any idea what just happened? I don't know. Well, you know, 
girls sometimes. I kick him. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> Shut up! They're also demons. <laughs> You and when a girl's out. a demon and a demon's a girl, you gotta know if you gotta slay the demon or she was love the girl. Hot. So you could you couldn't keep it in your pants long enough to save our friend and make this okay? Basically, yes. Hold on. <laughs> There's one thing I can do is stop a girl from crying and then make her cry again. <laughs> we give her all the charm. Will you help, will you assist me in this charm? Of course. She like to uh, charm her back to not crying. How would you like to do this? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you were great. I was? Generically, all your insecurities don't matter. And generically, you're one of the greatest girls we've ever seen. We've seen a lot of girls. Yay! You don't know anything about me. I know you're a girl. You're a and girl. you love. And, and you need love. love and, and you're you a girl. But that's, that's true. Girl, don't let them haters get you down. We got haters. We also got girls. You could be one of you. them. We don't like haters. You shouldn't like haters. We're not like them other haters. But how will that help me fulfill my destiny? <laughs> Girl, we all got destiny. You got destiny. You just don't even know it. I do know it. <laughs> That's the problem. I think she's immune to her child. Uh, <laughs> I start dancing. <laughs> Roll. I'm gonna bust out the highest note I can. Is it a C? It's beyond. It's a D. Uh, <laughs> Sixteen dance. This is good. This is, this is this is like borderline rehearsal. Like you you know this. You you fall back into it. Yeah. Twenty six. Oh, man. 26 high this D. Is, okay. This is the highest this D you've ever hit. highest D. I have yet to roll D. over a 10 on this die. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, as all of this is going on, you hear like a knock, like a hesitant knock. I saw the lights come back on. I was about to just go like march up <laughs> upstairs, actually. I'm going to go just throw the door open. You see Excelsior standing there. Who are these losers and why are they what, here? Oh, hold on. What, where's Psycho's here? She's gone and they don't know why. We never used a demon to summon a demon. That could have been the problem, actually. Could have, two demons. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't actually a demon. She was a tiefling, you moron. She She's was half demon. The different, you racist. Hey, we didn't <laughs> slay her. You yeah. should be thankful. Exactly. <laughs> well, she might as well be slain for all we know. She's not gone forever. Did you find out where to go? No, we someone didn't... was out of step. Yeah. I don't want to point fingers. It was a very one-sided fight. Yeah. Did you catch where to go? No. No, nobody caught anything. There wasn't any conversation. This weird demon lady showed up. They mentioned up. some uh, odd block. Yeah, yeah. Do Which we block? Do we hear that? You did hear Part? that. Okay, yeah. Block 62 or 3, I can't remember. One of those two. Maybe it's it was... The cloister. All right, listen. I know you probably shaken up, probably shaken up losing psychos here, but we don't have time. We have to go stop this. Yes, we'll help. We will. Because there's a girl. And there's also demons. And love. And when the girl's in trouble, we're on the double. Any chance this can be like split up um, among multiple groups for this mission, please? No, we need him. Uh, you don't want you, you want any help you can get. However dubious that help can be, they summoned the demon, didn't they? You found out the information. They succeeded. Let's do And sometimes it. succeeding is more important than winning. Uh, we always having a word with you later. That doesn't make sense. Get back first, and then we'll talk. <laughs> All right, so this would be a great place for a break. All right, okay. sounds good. So um, we'll be right back with more. Are you tired of cramming your precious dice into those little tiny rectangle plastic containers or into bags like a freaking peasant? Well, head on over to DiceDungeons.com and you can pick yourself up a finely crafted wooden dice case, among many other D&D accessories. They also have these really cool cloth playmats that are very easy to transport and store, and they all combine together into one larger area. Dice Dungeons is offering a 10% discount with the code DOORMONSTER during checkout, so uh, yeah, go, go check those out. Back to the superheroes. Welcome back to the second half of our session here at Altered Egos. Uh, in our last half, we uh, found a boy band. We found a church. Uh, we the lost boy band. Caprice. Um, and now, we know where we're gonna go. We know what we're gonna do there, maybe, kind of. What are y'all thinking about? Girls, mostly. 
<laughs> and love. Yeah, my own kind failures. Of, Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, we're going to. Where is this? What, what was the place again? Block sixty-two. And that is anybody know anything about Block sixty-two? Let's roll knowledge local and find out. Mm. Or anything else you'd like to roll that could work. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I got a twenty. I got, 20. I got oh, a, right. I got a twenty total. So you have. Um, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, Aviel is divided into six districts, each called Cords. Um, one of them is called the Cloister. This is the lower residential district. It's where the uh, most people reside. Uh, it is uh, the, the Avelian poet Nazaline once described it as uh, uh, all the thronging love and affection that Seren Ray uh, uh, attracts and all the smell that comes with it. Um, Nazaline would go on to try and seduce the daughter of uh, the Taroki military general, and uh, she would be executed for it. So, <laughs> sad days. Um, in the meantime, so this is, it's, it's, each neighborhood has its own sort of individual feel, uh, but, uh, officially they're all designated by block number. So block 62 is a neighborhood in the cloister, um, and nothing about the cloister is terrible. It's just not great. It is just rank and file living. Um, and you, you find your joy where you can, usually self-made. That's what y'all know. All right. <laughs> okay. Tight. Um, should we go, like, in uniform, or should we try to sneak in a little stealthier, or what do you guys think? I don't want to get swamped by fans, so I'll probably stay in disguise. Same. All right. Sounds good to me. Are I'm we just really upset. So I'm not going to change my appearance. I'm just still glowing or whatever. All right. Yeah, I'll stay in armor, too, then. Okay. Are we still in the boot? Where'd Excelsior go? Uh, y'all are, y'all, are, y'all are, uh, are reconnoitered to the war room in the visor. So which, uh, which which level is the cloister again? Cloister is the second level. Second level. All right, to the knees, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to say goodbye to uh, Excelsior. Excelsior looks at, looks at her. Excelsior says, listen, you know I'm fans, but right now I can't say to follow your heart and follow the music. I just need this done. We'll do it for you, ma'am. I believe in you. Anything for you. And she goes back to, steal, to staring steelily outside, out the window. Does she have any more dialogue options, or can I keep nope, pressing A? <laughs> <laughs> press A all you want. She's got the one thing. I press it a bunch of times to see if there's a secret dialogue <laughs> option, or she gets annoyed with me. She backhands you with her left hand. It's okay. All right. I'm good. Uh, have I recovered yet? Yeah, okay. <laughs> make, a, make a will save. Just... I got a six. You're not feeling hot. It's a nat uh, two. Plus one, because I'm a team player. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, so, uh, who here failed both checks? Me. All right. Um, and then, you didn't actually, you, you didn't reveal your greatest fear, right? I did. Uh, you did reveal it to? To okay. the demon. Okay, yeah. so, um, and then you you passed your first check? I passed the first one, failed the second one. Failed yeah. the second one. And then you passed both. Mm-hmm. And so, okay, you're the only one who failed both, okay. Yep. All right. So y'all are heading to the knees. Is that what you're trying to find? A closet yep. in the knees? <laughs> it's amazing how many closets there can be in one room. It's really like the, the back half of the statue is just only closets. Um, are okay. there things in the closets? Or the... Yeah, of course there are. It's right. like, if you ever need rope, any adventuring gear you, whatsoever. Wait, how do you... How, what's the difference between opening the door of a closet to get just, something out of the closet? You know how and... most closets have a back wall? Yeah. These ones do not. Okay. Mm. So there are hallways with stuff near the door. Right. Okay. <laughs> Closets, we call them. Gotcha. So you didn't answer my question. Am I still crying? Uh, you're not feeling super hot. Um, uh, I would avoid um, uh, things like the notebook. Or <laughs> 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 maybe you should watch watch some emotionally stirring anime to help you kind of like... So I'm depressed. Is the back I'm... 30 minutes of Titanic, not so great for you right now. <laughs> Just, um, but it's job time. You're okay. Just don't dwell on your failures and try and rack up a win for the good guys. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see where y'all end up. <laughs> so, um, below below the, the churchyard. So the churchyard is the, the lowest court, and it's... Um, as I've mentioned, I think every episode, uh, there used to be, uh, at one point, it was outside the walls, there was sort of just a bunch of hangers on who kind of had unofficial uh, businesses and things that weren't really technically part of Aviel outside the walls. And uh, at a certain point, uh, there was, became a sort of a movement uh, to um, 
bring these people inside the fold into the, they were, there was a, a rather harsh uh, a movement to try and uh, uh, moralize these people to make sure they weren't going to bring Aviel down with their, with their debauchery. And so many, many, many different religions set up uh, uh, churches out here to try and like sort of uh, evangelize to the people. Um, eventually this became uh, more, a, a more, a bigger economic cost than was viable. And so all those churches moved back up in and they just left their buildings down there. And all these uh, abandoned churches were bought by people who, with, uh, who were uh, establishing taverns and inns and things. And so now the churchyard sort of a, a tongue in cheek moniker because there's no churches in it only alcohol and fun. It's now been officially incorporated as part of Aviel. This is, this is in times long past, it was unofficial, but it still kind of maintains, it's uh, the only official churches there are those of um, Caden Kalian, the drunken god, um, and there are lots. Uh, <laughs> past that, down further north, you get to the docks, or the, the canals, because all the courts have to start with C. Um, this isn't officially, uh, this is just a, a region. Uh, this, these are where the boats come in through the Bay of Mercy in the north of Ralkeen. Um, and they kind of have this sort of a canal, like uh, a ranch style driveway almost, where they can unload. This is the, the, the you know, the economic center of Aviel because it's where all their, their shipping and trading comes from. Um, and you can tell that you're in the docks by the smell of salt in this, uh, closet is a strong word. You're really in like a lean to shack, kind of a bodega sort of setup, uh, like a, not a bodega, cabana, cabana. Like a lean to shack up on the docks. Uh, you can feel the salt and the, 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 the wind pushing through them as you're all inside this like, uh, it's like a reed, uh, walls made of like banded together reeds. All right, knees were too low. Got to go higher next time. We can't go back and try again. The, you I've never actually tried we? that. Can you want to try? <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I mean, yeah. I, you don't try again? I don't like walking. <laughs> you are, you're, this is closer to uh, the, the cloister than say if you were up in like the cathedral district again. It's up to y'all, but. I'll, you know, I think we can probably walk this one, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'm not sure why it never occurred to me before. Yeah, me neither. Um, Girl, you should always get back up and try again when you're down, you know? Love. All right, we're gonna yeah. keep yeah. trying this one first. I guess so. All right. I'm gonna open the door. As you open it up, you see that the uh, this bar is it's a so it's an outdoor bar really. It's more like a like a like a liquor stand with a with a kind of like supply closet. And, okay. Um, uh, and everybody is absolutely in full sway party mode. It's a bit strange actually. Everybody is swaying and rocking and chanting, and they are uh, all um, uh, uh, paying attention to sort of a crystal ball that is hanging in the uh, above the bar. Um, <laughs> yelling out something called the hurricane. Um, and as it, as it happens, uh, the bartender is going around handing out these big red drinks to everyone, and they're all uh, like in, ecstatically drinking them down. And then as-, as I'm gonna one, take one. <laughs> oh yeah. Make a con save. Make a fort save. I also wanna take one. Make a fort save. Normally I wouldn't. Could've been worse. Eight. El 11? <laughs> For the next hour, any th anytime you make a physical skill check, please subtract one. <laughs> Anytime you make a charisma skill check, please add one. Or the, um, no one uh, will know why. <laughs> and as everybody drown down Somebody, these, these red drinks all at why. once, they go, they, they are all a sort of collective. <sighs> and you hear the, the bartender, and that's it for today. Thank you for coming to the sandbar. Wait, it's over? Yeah. But, okay, okay. Every kind of like, uh, uh, skulls, uh, scatters back. And you see the one remaining barkeep, uh, uh, is a is a uh, a dwarven woman who's just sort of slowly <sighs> picking up chairs, sitting down, and kind of. It's actually great. I wish every party could be like this. Just show up one big, hey, and then you leave. Yeah, absolutely, nobody noticed you come in. There was <laughs> <laughs> not even us. Not even you. You're already. <laughs> we don't drink. We have to appeal to the mothers of the girls. <laughs> That's true. That's how okay, K-pop works. Harry and I see. But okay, but you do something, right? I'm sorry. We love. Like if you don't. I mean. Maybe it's not alcohol, but like. You, oh, you, hard you drugs, yes. Something. Yeah, yes. Right. Oh, right. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of pills. <laughs> pesh, we call it pesh. Lots of pesh. <laughs> um, y'all are just, uh, y'all are probably about half an hour's walk south of, or north, if you just walk south, up through the main gates. Um, would you like to head towards uh, sure. the cloister? Are there any like petty cabs around or anything? <laughs> drunk, <laughs> no, no, <absolutely. laughs> drunk, drunk trains? Nope, not, drunk not, not yet. Drunk it's trains. not late enough for, those, for that business yet. Um, Ubers. 
So y'all go through, the y'all, y'all uh, walk a little bit down to the churchyard, and you see ahead of you is a, uh, each cord of Aviel is partitioned off with giant, uh, uh, flamboyantly decorated, sometimes austerely decorated, but uh, like four story tall gates. The one that uh, separates the churchyard from the from the cloister is called the wooden gate. And it shows, um, uh, it's as if uh, two giant angel wings had like fallen in place across uh, the entranceway through the, through the walls, but made of, um, I mean the craftsmanship is good. It's not, you have just been in a cathedral district. In the cathedral district, everything, it looks like it was, a, if it took less than 50 years to make, it wasn't good enough. These are definitely made inside the lifetimes of one craftsman, but they are impressive, and it's an excellent introduction to Aviel to the average layperson. And they're kind of, they're, they're, they are uh, sort of folded open so anybody can walk through. It's not, the, the, the city's not bolted shut. Um, and uh, you go through the churchyard, the churchyard is, uh, it's, it's actually not too different, from, too different from what you would like, uh, where Renfair looks like. The buildings are scattered left ways, right ways, no real streets. It's much more like um, just kind of winding paths beaten by foot. Um, uh, and each church is sort of oriented whatever way it was. There's uh, a huge variation in build quality. There's just lean-tos with like a single holy symbol hold, uh, uh, hanging down. You can tell some of the, some of the uh, like all the churches of Abadar have a, a lot more money and a lot of civilization behind them. They're just sort of uh, stone brickwork that uh, uh, isn't very inviting, but is very solidly built. Um, you all come across a couple altars to Shellen, which are sometimes a little more than just like a tree with uh, a bunch of uh, flowers hung in the branches. Um, and as you walk your way through the churchyard, it kind of things sort of uh, sober up a little bit as you get to, towards the walls. There's a bit more like it's more like, just like traditional market stalls. Just kind of your average. Hey, you're gonna go spend a day in the city. You need some water. You need some rations. There's a, a stable along the outside wall, and then you get to these these giant uh, angel wing wooden gates. And inside the cloister, everything is regimented. Um, just by block and number, very it's a grid-based city layout. Um, some of the, some of the, it's more like a apartment blocks. Some places have yards, some places don't. They all look fine. And the entering in, you're in between blocks 49 or 50 and 51. 50 goes off uh, to the um, to the west, circling around. 51 off to the east. So this is where our fans live, huh? Mm. Awful. Good thing they have us, right? Yeah, it's a great thing. Great thing. Great thing they have us. Take them away from this for a while. Uh, are we lost? Is this block 62? Would you like to ask somebody? Would you like to gather information? Are there signs? Uh, I mean, everything is like, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a, they're just big pillars with numbers on them. So you can see that the 50 is off this way, 51 is off that way. You could just take it and start circling and head to block 52. Would you like to do anything or ask any, any, anything before you get there? Um... I don't speak to rabble, so I'm looking for my teammates. If we mask off, we could get a girl to lead us there. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm going to step into the same tavern or any building. We don't really care. These are poor buildings. Uh, So we just sort of walk through a door and find a place where nobody is looking at us and masks off. Okay. And we'll come back out and pose. Just wait. We're peacocking. I just, I just watch. <laughs> Please roll to, I will watch to peacock. peacock. <laughs> what do I add to the you, peacock roll? You either use oh, oh, a nat 20. 20. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. What are they called? A glamour? The beat? Do y'all have a band name? Do y'all just. Freak Lips. Freak Lips is what we are this week. Cool. Uh, last week we were something else. Lad 5? Lad 5? What, when you're. Uh, is that Joaquin? Oh my god. You're thronged. By um, uh, boys and girls alike. Girls. 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 <laughs> girls, calm down. <laughs> we're looking for Block 62. Block 62. Yeah, we're recording our new song Oh, there. is that where the fight's happening? The what now? The fights. There's been some issues with Block 62. This is like a 40-year-old aunt who's like in the back of the corner. <laughs> it's an unstable area. They've told us to stay away. That's why we need to go there. Point us the direction. They need love. They need love. Uh, three people bolt off to the east, uh, toward, come this way, this way, this way, this way. And then one of them's like, you're gonna get killed. Like, it's worth it for Joaquin. <laughs> Please, ladies, give us some space. We must go save Block 62 from themselves. They're here to yeah. save Block 62. Oh. We're going to right. Block 62. Let's go save Block 62. 
<laughs> so they'll lead the way. Follow along. Y'all lead the yep. way. Um, uh, y'all didn't really need anybody to lead you there because it's pretty straightforward. But now you have some information. You got, you got uh, people know you were here now. <laughs> yes, which is um, very important. The way you described all of the like block structure, I was like, oh, this is a puzzle. How do I skip puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> you continue walking. <laughs> um, uh, between each block, there's like a. It's not really. A, it's not like a gate. Like keep you out. It's more like a division. It's like a fence. Um, uh, the fence is made of various things. Sometimes it's like white picket. Sometimes it's a little bit of chain link. It's never uh, anything structural. But they're never locked. They're just going to divide out the blocks. So you walk along until you get to one, and uh, standing in front of it are two city guards. Um, they don't look like they're particularly thrilled with their job. Like, halt. Block 62 is in cordoned off. Uh, we're here on official business. Um, do you have a badge of office? Can I can I go in behind a tent or something and like untransform? <laughs> yes. Okay, I do that. Then I come running back out. Excuse me, sir. They're with me. They're with me. <sighs> Miss Rose, I see. Um, you're well. <laughs> this is a this is a youth rehabilitation program. I really don't care. Go on in. Oh, uh, all right. I don't get paid enough. <sighs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> We go in. <clears throat> you walk in. Um, love and, yourself, uh, girl. I point out to the guard. Love yourself. That was a girl? You told me to love girl. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Hold on, hold on. And you're gone before that. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to stay uh, b <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, this must be their place because before long, you hear a scream. Is there anybody around? Is this area really quarantined off? Well, so... Uh, quarantined in both senses, um, it is, uh, nobody was allowed in and nobody was allowed out. So, uh, you definitely see there's destruction. There's, uh, some suspiciously large footprints, uh, near the ground nearby. Uh, there's, um, uh, some windows have been broken in. Uh, the drain pipe is hanging off loose. Um, I run toward the screen. Is someone gonna notice if I just put my mask back on? <laughs> Nobody's here at the moment, no. Okay. Can uh, I retransform now? Yes. Well, actually. I'm already running. <laughs> okay, you're already running. Go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Um, that's a 23. 23, all right. So you, you, you sprint down into, a, into an open square, uh, kind of hanging back at, at the edge, and what you see is as follows. Uh, from a rooftop out over, uh, actually behind you and to the right, jumps into view, boom, Chomwell. Oh. Uh, very brutified. By the way, before you left, uh, uh, Excelsior gave you a pendant. She was rooted around in the back room, has crushed this pendant, and for a moment, you can disrupt possession. Okay. If you're, in with, you're within, if within 10 feet of somebody, you crush this pendant, their possession will waver for a minute. Be quick. Um, uh, Chomel, so Chomel's just, he's just there? Chomel, he's just, he's clearly been uh, uh, having, this is, this is where he's been stomping around uh, like a dog that his, like they put up a dog gate and he's like, well now I just gotta destroy this place. Um, and then he jumps into the square. The square is 50 feet by 50 feet. Uh, there's a fountain in the middle. It's not roiling over with the fire. In fact, it's not roiling over with anything right now. It is broken in half. Um, it used to be like an angel uh, valiantly pointing a sword, uh, but now both wings are, wings are broken off and the sword is chipped down to kind of dagger size. It looks very funny. Um, and then on an opposing rooftop, standing tall, uh, three stories up, uh, white hair streaming in the wind, we have... Hey. 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 <laughs> Hey! Hey! <laughs> All right. So, hello, newcomer. Tell us about yourself. Wow, I've never been here before. So exciting. Um, okay, so my character's name is Velocity. I am an android. I am six foot two and like 190 pounds. I have uh, half my head shaved. My hair is white. Uh, I am like I'm exceptionally pale. So much that it's like it. It looks like you can see veins, sort of like underneath mm. my skin in kind of a weird, disturbing way. Um, and uh, you can only see like shoulders to fingers and then neck and up. Everything else is covered in what looks like, like almost like robotic armor from just like chest down to my feet. Um, yep, I'm standing on this rooftop. <laughs> how, how Lady Gaga esque is this robotic armor? <laughs> Not very. Okay. Oh, does, it fu- does it look functional or does it look, you know? No, it's entirely fashionable. The, uh, if fashion. anything, it looks very like um, 
it's like it's a it's a combination of sort of like rugged and pristine like the part anything that doesn't look like glass looks dirty and sandy ish mm-hmm. the end all right would you like to make a stirring um a, a, a stirring proclamation of get out of here you mongrel to um uh, uh Chamel, who has just invaded you've been you've been chasing Chamel off of various buildings for the past uh day or so sure um, and he, he's, it's, it's been, this is the first time you've, been, you've had a chance to confront him just head on in open, open space. It's been a lot more chasing, uh, uh, he'll be in an area and you've been trying to get people out, or, uh, but now, now this is the, your first, the first time you, there's been a threat to your city block, your city. Sure. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, um, Q Kingpin, my city. <laughs> um, uh, and you, just, you get to meet head on, so give sure. what you got. <clears throat> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it like this, but you're gonna hear it very loudly. <clears throat> Stop, monster! Face me like a man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then I guess I'll jump to attack. <laughs> all right, so we all are all in. So let's let's uh, let's set the scene as best we can with Pathfinder Theater of the Mind. <laughs> um, so. Uh, conveniently, our battle space is 50 feet square. Um, All right. Uh, we have uh, the the middle 10 feet. The middle 10 foot square is this broken fountain, um, and there are uh, there's you and Cha- so Chamwell is at the, uh, the, the 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 far southern end. It breaks into a 10 foot uh, alley, 10 foot wide alley, um, and then of course up at the northern end, um, there's another 10 foot alley, uh, moving along along the chain of uh, uh, the city to the next block. Um, well, it would head towards the next block eventually. Uh, y'all are all arrayed in this alley right behind Chamwell. Chamwell is 15 feet into the into the uh, the arena, and you're standing on the rooftops at, at the north side. Okay. Uh, so do I have whatever this amulet Let's thing is? Let's say yes. Okay. Well, the logical thing to do would be to run up and use that on him. Uh, however, I have a lot of pent up rage <laughs> from the last couple of days, and. Uh, the one person who can take my punches without just dying on me has showed up in front of me, so I'm gonna go hit him. Let's have everybody roll initiative. All right. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I roll for Rody as well? Rody acts on your initiative. Okay. I got a 14. Okay, let's do this real quick. Um, mm-hmm. What does initiative scale off of in this game? I'm counting. Dex. Stupid initiative box. Oh, if, if, unless otherwise specified, it is just your dex modifier. 21. 21, okay. It's a natural 20. My dex is 14. Is a modifier what? Plus 2. Plus 2. I got a 22. I got a 22. I don't know about you. But you're feeling like 26 or? Uh, <laughs> 28. Can I get the lowest... Initiative? I got six. Alright. So no. <laughs> I wanna punch Chamo in the face. You'll get your Either chance. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. But I'm feeling twenty two. Cover edge strikes. Hmm? Wow. <laughs> Way to silence a room, yeah. Oh, copyright strikes. I thought he was telling us we were being attacked by something. <laughs> <laughs> the copyright strikes. <laughs> Please roll for what? lawyer. Leave it just like that. <laughs> My lawyer stats pretty low. That's so good. Thank you. All right, let's all have you all you? say these again. Oh, I gotta this. So, uh, Aurora, what is your uh, initiative? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Velocity. What is your initiative? Twenty-two. All right. Um, I rolled a natural twenty on my initiative. I'm not calling uh, first by a long shot. <laughs> and um, uh, Silverback, what is your initiative? Fourteen. Okay. Um, uh, uh, unbreakable diamond. What is twenty-one. Your- all right, and lad five, high C, what is your initiative? Six. Just six. Just six. <laughs> okay, let me write these now. Just six. Um, uh, Aurora, what is your dex modifier? Four. Aurora's dex modifier is four? Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Velocity, what's your dex modifier? Four. I think instead of, I think I took some feat that lets me, like, change my strength to dex or whatever. We're going to let... Velocity go first because she's fast. My dex is <laughs> higher. The not modifier is higher. Mm-hmm. That also counts. All right. By a point. <laughs> <laughs> Velocity. 
This is the anticipation music. Oh. <laughs> what? Anticipation starting, music. Starting next episode, we're gonna have an actual control board here, and we're gonna have somebody on it picking music out as oh, it goes. So there'll yeah. be there'll be actual background music. What do we play? Cool. The only way to add background music now is to go in and like physically add it in Premiere, and there's no, no way in hell I'm doing no. that. <laughs> Not happening. All right, we are gonna say that I'm a. Uh, 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 so Rack, you do get the surprise round. Oh, okay, I'll take the surprise round because nobody else is like, "What are we gonna do?" You're just like, ah! So uh, you may roll that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch. Punch. Uh, did, did it all right. Um, that's a uh, sixteen. Sixteen. All right. <clears throat> You'll hit. Okay. Roll your damage. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's see. Where's the, the gauntlet? Is two D eight plus four. Where's the D eight? It looks like a pyramid twice. I'm not used to using the D8. All right, it's the it two like triangles a pyramid put together. Twice. <laughs> it looks like a pyramid it's twice. It's like two D4s. It is. That's what it looks like. Uh, so, uh, 11. Here's what happens. Your fist connects with Chumwell's cheek. Um, his cheek doesn't move. You see six demon faces kind of splay out like... Ooh. like oh. And they all kind of slap back. And then you, you see his head just like turn towards you. And he roars with six demonic roars all in one. His eyes uh, flare with an intensity of hatred and uh, abyssal loathing that you've never seen before. Um, and he takes zero damage. Felt good, though. Yes. Briefly, it felt good. Um, that was a move and an attack, That right? was a move and an attack. Okay. So, uh, we're going to start at the top of the, uh, the, uh, the turn order with velocity. Cool. How far am I? You are 35 feet from Chomwell. And okay. three stories up, but you know. Okay. I want you all to know that as superheroes, you get 10 free feet of fall damage. Because oh, good. <laughs> superheroes not jumping off of things is dumb. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Let's start this off with a bang. Do it. Okay. I'm going to... Cast. I don't actually know how to call it this. I don't know what to, to call it. What you doing? I am going to uh, lightning straight to him. You're gonna use your elemental blast thingy? Yes. I think you should know the name for this too. It's a, yeah, you're gonna yeah. connect at him. Kinetic, kinetic blast. Kinetic blast, yeah. the ability Great. and you have to roll a ranged attack to hit him first. Fantastic. A ranged attack, is what you said? It is a touch attack though. So you only have to hit his touch AC. Okay. And <laughs> I would say you probably That's did. a 28. 28. Wow. Um, and that's how much damage I Technically, it's 30, actually. Your tag modifier is 11 on your kinetic blast. Nice. Good start. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's 30. So that so you hit. <laughs> um, can I hit and move? Yeah, yep. that's what you're doing. You're using ride the blast as a... Oh, are you perfect. riding your blast? I'm going to ride the blast. You are firing yourself at Chomwell. And hitting him. <laughs> All right. But yeah. Cool. All right. So um, uh, tell me how this looks. You're three stories up on a, on a building. Okay. You're, and, you're, and you're in this glass um, armor and you're a robot and you're just like, you call out, man, and then you just do what? <laughs> uh, and then you will you will notice that the veins under my skin will actually glow really Ooh. bright. And so what I'll color? start to just look like it. from a distance I just glow. And then from my hands you will just see like huge lightning strikes hit the ground next to Chomwell and kind of explode, and then I will be there Thank on the ground. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And I agree. it's just this lightning strike that does the damage? Yeah, it's just the lightning strike that does the damage, cool. and then I'm also there. You may roll your damage. Okay. 3d6 plus half your constitution. Oh, right, 3d6. So 3d6 plus 2. Okay. Can I have a d6? Uh, sure. Rachel, can I have a d6? Yeah. See you. These are all very different weight dice. It's <laughs> very weird. Um, 10 plus yes. 2, 12? 12. 12. 12. Yep. So, um, Chomwell was, to your credit, not expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, him, you see uh, all, the, every, all the demonic energy in him just sort of like takes a, a, a second and is, is very surprised. 
Um, most of this does, you see it like uh, enter him and sort of like dissipate through like, he, every time you, every time he moves, it's like there's after images of various demons inside of him. Mm -hmm. um, and most of it, as he recoils back, seems to kind of like glance off around their various shoulders and uh, just sort of splay out. Some of it gets through. Okay. A little bit gets through. Um, and you see like, there's one smaller demon on the inside. You kind of like see like, uh, it's, it twitches its neck out to the left and you see like, a ghostly form of a horrible demon head just kind of like and just like slide back into to Chomwell. Gotcha. And it is Aurora's turn. All right, I want to attack it with my flaming scimitar. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need two d6. Well, you should roll your attack first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. I think you should technically still get a move after that. In the future, too, if you ever need to. Is Ryan okay, the Blast I, not a move? No. <laughs> okay, I got, I got she eight. She has to hit for it to work, though. Sure. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yep, that hits. Okay, cool. So, um, now I... Okay. Uh, six. Uh, six. Okay, and this, that's a... Is that in, including your... Is it plus... Playing? Six plus six plus four. Six um, plus and six. Sure, I'll include the flame. Is that... I don't remember how your character I don't know either. I, I think it it, I, I probably just put it all that. in one box, so that's probably the second six. Okay. The scimitar is 1d6, flame is two, is your second d6, so that's 12 plus, so 16 total? Yep. Wait, no, it's, um, wait, yes, it's 16 total. 16 total, all right. Um, uh, so you, you swing your, your, your scimitar, um, tell me how you had, how you, how you, you hit at him. Describe yourself. I um, Charging in a battle, start with chance. my arm like behind my body, crouching on the ground, and then I spin into the air and do a little dance, a la dervishes. <laughs> so there's a spin in there, and then I cut him mid-spin in the <laughs> chest. <laughs> cool. And then land on the other side. Sort of, you know those dolls that are like winks? They go like, and yeah, then they go yeah, like, it's, like a helicopter. It's like that, but yeah. slower and with fewer rotations, <laughs> but it's ice skater-like. More say. rotations. Beautiful. It's like Crouching Tiger stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is like Crouching Tiger. You're right. All right. Um, uh, same thing as, as with Velocity. Your attacks definitely are mostly dissipated into this uh, demonic puddle, um, but there is a little bit of, uh, you see like, one of his, uh, what, a, a goat's arm just kind of like, like, like uh, slides out from his uh, muscly mass and just before like ghosting back in. Okay. That's um, creepy. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up we have... My bird. Rhododactylus. My yes. Rhododactylus will attack with his, uh, why doesn't he have a bite attack by the way? Why does he have claws and, no, and wings but no bite? He's a freaking bird. They bite, they're evil. Your bird is not evil. Your bird is good. Well, it still has bite. Your Anyways, bird is capital G good. <laughs> um, it's gonna. He's gonna attack with his claws and his wings. Okay. And he's also gonna try smiting evil. That sounds like a good idea. Um, go ahead and just pick one of the attacks since he moves this turn. I would suggest the claws. I think just a claw attack. Yeah, I think claw attack has more damage. Anyway. Okay, roll your claw attack. I don't have to roll the my attack. Wait. No, it's his attack. I mean, yeah, but do you have to roll the d20 first? D20, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, that's eight plus uh, seven. Fifteen. Plus one. Sixteen. Hey, you hit. Okay, cool. Um, roll damage, including that smite. Mm-hmm. Six. Uh... D2 is a coin, right? Yeah. Or just roll a D20, and if it's above 10, say 2, and if it's below 10, or it's 10 below, say 1. Just roll a, roll a D4 and yep. do the thing. Okay, that's 2. 2. So 6 plus 2 plus 3. Um, so that's uh, 11 plus 4. Sure. I'm not, I didn't follow those numbers, but I'm going to trust you because that's yeah, how this is Yeah, that was including the, the smite sure. or whatever. Um, so that's a total of what? Uh, 15. 15? 11 plus 4. 11 plus 4? Yeah, yeah, it's 15. Those are the last numbers right. I heard. Yeah. Here's the deal. All of it sinks in. <sighs> you see, this one, this is particularly effective. Um, the, the, all the demons sort of spasm. It's like, it, it's terrifying. It's awful. Um, there's two goat heads that fling out either way, and a bunch of like uh, little bat wings that kind of like <laughs> up behind him. How many demons are in this guy? <laughs> six? All of them, right? <laughs> About six, yeah. Looks like. anyone count? <laughs> six. Um, and, uh, it's Unbreakable Diamond's turn. I speak Abyssal. Yeah? 
I sure do. Cool. Um, so I'm going to put on like the best pouty face I have. It's a pretty good one. And I'm gonna point my halberd with the microphone facing me, of course, as I'm gonna shout um, in in abyssal. I'm going to shout using my intimidation. Okay. Hey, you demons, leave that girl alone. She's only for us to love. Please roll. <laughs> um, 14 plus my uh, intimidate, which is a 11. So 25 to intimidate. Hmm. Um, you see, so this has never failed you before. This is obviously like your, 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 your intro, like you, trap door comes up, you, <laughs> this is your, your stage on move, right? Right. So never before have you seen somebody just turn around and then scream at you with the power of six demons in once and just ignore you, but it happens. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to take a move action? I do. I want to get as close to people who are close to this guy as possible. You may do that. You may join the huddle. I want to get in, f in the front of this guy if I can. I'm like at his face. <laughs> so you like, 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 I'll like, stand, I'll stand pretty next. Close. Yeah. I mean, do you want to stand right next to or you want to stand? Right next. Okay. You are, you're saying, fine then. <laughs> you kind of square up. Okay. <laughs> I approach. You approach. I have the full swagger of the JoJo approach. <laughs> yes. Just low camera angle. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, we got there. All right. Um, Silver so my turn. I would like to try to take the amulet and just slam it onto his forehead and try to break it on his face. Break a touch attack. Okay. Wow, a lot of things happening there. <laughs> um, what is swift action? Keep rolling low, but my melee it's attack reaction. modifier is high, so it's a okay. sixteen again. So, and so it's separate from Damn. my <laughs> it's separate from my opportunity attacks. So here's here, yeah, so attacks of opportunity, you get one attack of opportunity per round. Um, uh -huh. those are triggered by somebody casting a spell next to you, right. trying to leave your area, all those general things. Um, you have okay, so the, the two the two things are swift action, which is something you can do on your turn. You get mm -hmm. one of them. And then you also have an immediate action. Okay. Oh, swift action is only on my turn? Yeah, immediate action and swift action are the same thing, it just depends on whether or not it's on your turn. Okay. It's, if you do it on your turn, it's a swift action. If you do it on somebody else's turn, it's immediate action, and you don't get a swift action next turn. Okay, so I have a, I have a thing that says swift action. Yes. So I can't do it right now? What would, what would it have been? It's a, a team player to give plus one to a roll. Um, is it... I'm not entirely sure how that works. I, it, either I'm going to say sure. it probably just grants it to the next roll, right? So right. You can, you, on your turn, we can totally say that you like, you like, square up with them, and you're like, just like a... Like, mm -hmm. Cool, 17 then. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, all right. <laughs> sorry. We're just smelling drinks. Please continue. <laughs> Smells like cheddar popcorn. Um, uh, would you like to describe this amulet for me? Um, the amulet itself? Yeah. I, did you describe it to me before? I did not, so please I... go ahead. Okay. Um, I want to throw this one to you. It's, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to say it definitely has, like, some weird demon face thing carved into it so that when I hit him with it, it just imprints onto his head and cool, just cool. leaves the shape in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. I'm yeah. just going to, and yeah, I just, I just swing my arm back and then just hit it so <laughs> hard that it just, like, shatters on his, his uh, hard Boy, caveman hey. head. Right. It's just, we'll say this is made of cold iron because that's what you do against demons. Oh, so okay. You, you know, cold iron, it's a, it's a, I, I'll, I'll take your, yeah. It's like got like a goat horn sort of thing going on. Yeah. Uh, just like a meh. It's got its tongue sticking out. It's gross. <laughs> Slams it. Boom. The cold iron shatters across his forehead. And uh, so um, we're all familiar with uh, uh, Doctor Strange's uh, little foo foo poof yeah. astral projection thing. <laughs> like that, except six demons spill out of his back and fling across the square. Nice. Um, hey. You have, uh, you see two larger, uh, like kind of muscly beefed up men with the heads of goats and their halberds. These are the same guys that you attacked you last time. Uh, and meanwhile, there are four smaller kind of roundish imp-like things that kind of spread out across the, the, the square. Um, also, you note, uh, just briefly, Tomwell's own form dissipates out and kind of flings behind him for a second. And you see on the left, there is just a totally normal, kind of scared looking half-elf uh, who is uh, dressed in clothes that are finer than he treats them. 
On the right, there's just sort of this amorphous, gross blob of uh, like uh, sinew and mass, just sort of like this tumored out in gross bubbled ways before they sort of snap back together into Chomwell. Ew. Um, wow. And he's lying unconscious on the ground. Okay, still in like beast form though? In the beast form for the moment, he's still beast formed. Okay. And uh, the other demons have now spread across the square. And give me a second. I will use my move to run toward one of them also. Cool. It's demons again, High C. Are you ready? I'm always ready for demons. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready. Actually, wait, no, I forgot. I can also throw things. I'm going to throw some. I, I, I would, wait. Would my attack have still hit had it been a 15? Yes. Can I call this a full around attack then and make two? All right, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what do I have on me? I was going to try to, th- I want to chuck something at one of these guys. I forgot that I built this character around improvised weapons, actually, so I, I can technically use yeah. things that are laying around. There's lots of rubble. Uh, any any sure. part of a house or an apartment or uh, a fencing, any, anything. That, <laughs> if, if you imagine a bulldozer just went down a neighborhood street, that stuff's around. Okay. I'll, Throw I'll, your I'll love and your passion. Take one of the, the big buff demons then I'm gonna pick up like just swoop up a brick just after I after mm. the the first attack and just baseball pitch it straight at him as hard as I can go for it let's see that's I keep rolling low I'm doing okay because of the attack modifiers but I'm rolling low and it's annoying um, do I still get a plus from your thing too only or is it once, only one time? only once okay uh, I think that is only a 12 then only a 12, then. You're going to miss with your brick. Okay. Worth a shot. Agreed. One second. Let me add these back in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is great. Enough for y'all. Um, all right. That's Chumwell out of the turn order and replaced with six no people. <laughs> Hey, I see how you doing. Good, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Tell me what you're up to. Uh, I'm there, I guess, at the battlefield. Sounds good. Yeah. First of all, DM, here's my truth. Yeah. My truth is that my voice is a ranged weapon. I believe you. I <laughs> okay. believe you, Heisey. Okay, cool. I can shoot out, like, voice projectiles. Yeah. That are very concentrated <laughs> uh, singing notes that uh, damage people. Yes. Um, Tell you what, we'll, we'll do it like this. You have a you can you have a charisma modifier. I bet you you do. Yes. You can use that in place of your strength or dexterity. Oh. Okay. What are the chances enthrall will work on a group of hostile enemies? Enthrall depends. That's a spell, yeah. Yeah, it's like you know people pay attention to you for a while. Probably a decent amount. Um, is it? Can you tell me what level spell it is? Um. You should just like click on the link and it should bring you there. Uh. Where would it be? Mm. Let's see here. Yes. Okay. Looks like a two. Yeah, level no. two. School enchantment, charm, language dependent, mind altering, level bard two, cleric two. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Does it have a, a number of targets? Uh, any number of creatures. Any number of creatures in... A hundred foot plus ten foot range. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That is what it looks like. Cool. I, pull, I have the full thing pulled up. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll, be, they'll need to make a DC. Um, uh, I, I'm going to say for you since you're a little. I believe. It says will negates. Will negates. So you'll have a. Um, I think it puts your DC at about 16. So anybody who makes a, a will save of 16 or so uh, will be negated. Anybody else? What I actually have is on a success. Um, what happens? What happens? Uh, they just become so dang enthralled with me. It says they become friendly, which is why I was asking yeah, if it works on enemies. It says enemies. they are considered to have an attitude of friendly while under the effect of the spell, and uh, any potentially affected creature of a race or religion unfriendly to yours gets a plus four bonus on the saving throw. It's a, it's a mass, it's like a mass charm person. Right. They will definitely get that bonus uh, yeah. if that's what you choose to do. So they have to beat 20? And if it, it it should, it, I think it's also... Like theirs is DC 12. If charm works like in D and D, it's a, is it still like if you or your friends hit them, then they are not charmed? Yeah, it'll be like a, like a sleep effect, like okay. like hey buddy, yeah, what stung. the hell? Oh, what was I doing? So if you want to use that, they have to make pass a DC twelve uh, check to not be like totally your buds and stuff. Totally. 
All right. Yeah. Well, I like those odds of six saving throws. So, yeah. You don't make the rolls. They make the rolls. I'll make yeah. the rolls. Yeah. But okay. I'm just saying. If yeah. they just want to pick up the dice. So, if someone ready. will fail. If they fail them, they actually just stop taking actions as long as he keeps performing. Cool. Wait, I don't have to, oh, I don't have to roll. Yeah. So, uh, tell, but tell me, tell me how. What's what's your approach on enthralling these guys? Uh, my uh, performance, obviously. So I take my Thanks. microphone. <laughs> Whip it out, rapier style. A couple of spins. <laughs> Winks, kisses. <laughs> Twirls. I go to the middle of the arena to have the ultimate, you know, uh, area of effect. Spin it around a couple of times. <laughs> Slam it into the ground. Baby girl, you know. And then I just go into my song and I just <laughs> sing it and dance. Worked on me. Yeah. <laughs> right, I know, me too. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. And if, if possible, magic lights. <laughs> it is so possible. Okay, so <laughs> magic <laughs> lights, spotlights, everyone's looking. Did Let's not see work what we got. on me. <laughs> I'd like to join in on the harmony whenever it comes in to play. <laughs> I was presuming. And okay. this is a particularly anti-demon song. This is like a demon slaying <laughs> song. <laughs> Abyss, you suck. Yeah, like I would not do this at a concert. I would, this is only for demons. That was some loud rolls. <laughs> Those are some rolls, that's for sure. Some big quality dice probably gotten from a great company. Mm. <laughs> probably. <laughs> can this have, I guess we can still say this episode is sponsored by Dice Dungeon. The, the code still works. You can use Door Monster at Dice Dungeon. I was like, I was like sponsored by Company Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was to, you. They're Call us and sponsoring guest quest this month. Oh yeah. But the code still works either way. <clears throat> Go to Dice Dungeons and use Door Monster to get ten percent off. I tell you what, you got two dretches and one of the sheer demons, which are the goat demons. Nice. nice. That's Multiple pretty good. Kinds. There are. Okay. And then do I stun the ones that I didn't get? Uh, the other ones are like tell you what, they are not stunned. Um, they are fans, and they will probably buy your next album. Okay. <laughs> oh, <I got> some, <laughs> don't kill those guys. <laughs> we need to sell those albums. We need to sell, those albums. We need to sell the shirts. All right. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm doing a show. All right. So that cuts us down a little bit. So the it first, uh, you stop three people from attacking. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> three of them, the next three people in the turn order are all stunned, are all enthralled. Except me. What? Tell me. <laughs> You should have targeted some of them, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I apologize for any friendly fire. My hips might. <laughs> <laughs> they don't lie. Yeah. So I just use one sheer demon um, and a turn order who's, uh, uh, I don't want to alarm you, but they all hate you a lot. <laughs> you are not their favorite person for a number of reasons. They're alarmed by a lot of you. But you and Rotodactylus are on, you know. Oh, me? Well, no, no. Silverback and Rotodactylus. Oh. No. So. Stand there like this. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you don't do that. Ethan silhouetting. <laughs> you make like a great noise to go with it. I don't know what. Um, uh, and so uh, one of them is going to uh, uh, definitely like make a, a, a squealing sort of goat noise and. Ooh. And run at you, uh, Halberd, uh, dra dragging the Halberd just along the ground. You see it sparking. <laughs> It hits a rock and chips a little bit. They don't seem to care. Uh, remember, these these halberds have the, like a putrid smell on them. Uh, they do not clean these things. In fact, they probably do things to them that are very much the opposite of cleaning. Mm -hmm. And he's going to swing it right at your face. Hold on. All right. Huh? I'm going to use up one of my opportunity attacks the round uh -huh. to bodyguard and give plus two to your AC. Okay. You are right. You didn't say you're going to box in right near everybody, right? Huh? You, you're you're going to... I got specifically right up next to him. Okay. Cool. Sure. Yeah, he did. And I didn't move. I stayed there because I threw a brick. My AC is 20. Is it? Yep. <laughs> this round it is. <laughs> oh, just this round. Okay. Yeah. And I get two opportunity attacks per round. Why? Nice. Because I took a fighter feat that does that. Cool. Is that combat reflexes? It is combat reflexes. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, my favorite. All right. All right. Um, uh, uh, so... Because of your bodyguarding, it does not hit. I like you more now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting I want ready you to know, like, take it. <laughs> it was a real close thing. Diamonds are always unbreakable, my friend. <laughs> so now, as we move back to the top of the turn I order, just nod. <laughs> um, suddenly, y'all see around you. You hear screaming. Uh, y'all are not the only people in the oh, square. Right. There are uh, three other people. One of whom was hiding behind the fountain. Uh, one of whom is up by the northern entrance. That you just, northern entrance. 
and one, one of whom is right <laughs> over in the middle left of the courtyard. Um, the middle, the one, the one behind the fountain and off, or in the middle left are both being harassed by dredge demons, and the other sheer demon that is not nearby y'all in the, in the southern half of the courtyard is, uh, takes notice of the person who screams up in the north. Aren't they all focused on this guy? Uh, some of them are. Remember, they spread out all around the... Uh, yeah. so, no, no, uh, you're right. One of the dredges... There's five, right? There, there, there are six demons. Six, okay. Uh, three of them are enthralled. Three of them are enthralled. Uh, so the other sheer demon is, in fact, enthralled. Um, the, the sheer demon who's, who's focusing on the person in the north is enthralled, and one of the dredges is enthralled, and then the other two dredges were the ones who aren't were going to be focusing on y'all instead. So, full count, y'all are near one goat demon who is not enthralled. Mm -hmm. There's one goat demon up near the north who is enthralled but is nearby a human. There are two dredges um, nearby humans, one of whom is enthralled and one of whom is not. And there are two dredges who are just hanging out ready to hurt y'all. There's a fourth dredge somewhere else that's probably lost. Questions? Clarifications? What's a dredge? You got it. Dredge is a small balloon-like imp demon that's just real gross. They're at the okay. bottom of the pecking order. They're barely more than abyssal matter that's just kind of formed a will, and that will is just hateful. I just only picture the thing from it's a demon Black Chihuahua. and 2. I don't know if you've seen <laughs> enough of that game to know what that is, but we have a video of me and Ethan playing it on our second channel. That's all I can think of. Third channel. Third channel. <laughs> Technically, what? the podcast channel is the third channel. So. And he has more subscribers, though, right? <laughs> Probably. No. Oh, okay. Not yet. Business later. Right now, Velocity Go. What? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go to one of the other demons attacking somebody else. Cool. Which one? Which, which kind of demon? Big demon, tiny demon, uh, attacking, enthralled or not? Um, an attacking demon, the one that's furthest away. That'll be so. The the one that is um that could potentially attack the uh, human up to the north, uh, currently enthralled. Is that the one you want? What does enthralled mean again? Not the taking any action. Dancing, as long as per performing your Just song. watching me. Are you attacking the ones focused oh. on him, or are you attacking the ones that are not? Not focused on him. Not focused on him. Okay, so there's the sure demon that's right in the big huddle right here that's attacking. Mm -hmm. um, and there's one dredge demon that is attacking another human way off in the corner. Okay. And then uh, the, uh, there's two more dredges that are not attacking anybody right now, but not enthralled. And there's one that is attacking somebody who is enthralled. Probably, I think, if you're saying you're wanting to attack somebody that's not enthralled but is attacking, you're looking for the dredge demon in the left. Yes. Okay. Um, you're about 40 feet away from that one. I, I can get there. 25, but. I can get there. Okay. Go for it. You don't have to take one burn to get there. No, I have plus 40. Oh, you'll move first. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll move first. I thought you were jumping. Um, we don't actually have anything set up for what I want to do. <laughs> what I do want, you want to do? I want to use my, my metal bow staff. With, sure. With lightning. <laughs> we will have to set that up a little bit later. Okay, then I will do a lightning attack. Okay. If you want, you can have the metal bow staff. We can, you can just point and... You just won't, we'll have the stats for it later, just but if you, the same numbers. If you, sure. want, you just want to show me how you do it, go for it. Sure. Um, let's see. What's the best way to do this? I guess I'll just reach back and actually just like pull out like a, like a 12 inch staff and it will, I'll just like shake it. It'll turn into this giant bow staff and then I will just slam it into the demon and it'll light up and start like making electric noises and like... I like your cartoon. I like it. Z -z 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 like you can see his bones. Yeah, this is what this is what <laughs> I like. This is like That's exactly what that communicates. Good job. Does he have bones? Uh, they're evil. <laughs> evil bones. Um, Bad go to ahead bone. and uh, roll that attack. I hope this works. <laughs> hey. Damn. Um, what do I add to that again? You're right down there. Oh, okay. Twenty nine. I hope that hits. We're in a lot of trouble if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it hits. <laughs> I need a microphone down here so I can like, dramatically get close to it. <laughs> yeah, do I roll, like do I roll 3d6 <laughs> again? Uh, yeah, you do. 3d6 plus half your constitution. 3d6 and your d6 again. Take it. Welcome yeah, to the first character of this RPG that makes me want to do a character audit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 11 13? plus 2, 13. 13. 13. Making sure that you have all the numbers right on your sheet. She's actually just rolling really well. <laughs> That's good too. I mean, I, I don't. I believe you. I just uh, also Kenneth is just a super fifth edition. We don't have to audit yeah. our characters. <laughs> yeah, it's because there isn't enough to get wrong. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so um, the dredge is not. 
any longer. <laughs> Would you like to explain exactly how it is not any longer? Uh, yes. It is I will to use be. the bow staff and I will just like slice through his slimy, gross demon body and like it'll get electrocuted and I don't know what happens when like electricity meets sludge. The same thing that happens to everything else. McDonald's burgers. <laughs> Just fry it straight through. Just <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, just cauterize it in half. <laughs> wow. Tasty. And it just Sorry. falls. Tasty. <laughs> cool. Uh, y'all are down to only five demons left. Yay. <laughs> How small is a dredge demon? It is small size, so think about the size of like... Like a gnome. Uh, a gnome, like a yeah. Hole. It's like, it, it is about, it is three-ish feet in the air, but it's mostly round. <laughs> think, think of like, a, like, somebody took like an imp, like your classic like black slimy imp, and just stuck a bicycle pump in its mouth and just poof, 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 and then it Got it. Yeah. It's gross. It's real gross. What happens if you touch him? Don't you do that. You Jeffrey last time? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. This question has been asked. All right. And answered. You're right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Moving on to Aurora. All right. So what are my demon choices? Your demon choices are... You have, way up north, about 35 feet away from you, there is a sure demon that is um, uh, enthralled currently. Mm-hmm. Thanks to over here. Um, and is a, uh, uh, over to the left, you see Velocity just, and you don't have to worry about that one anymore. <laughs> um, there is one more dredge demon that is uh, harassing somebody behind a fountain in the middle of the, the, uh, the arena, but is currently enthralled. Um, and then you're next to the other goat demon, who is very much not enthralled. And there are two dredges over in the corner, uh, just kind of chilling right now. I probably will attack the one I'm next to. Sounds good. Is it close to me? Like, will it trigger an attack of opportunity if I leave? It will, yes. Okay, well, then I'll just attack that one. Sounds good. You can also be able, you'll be able to, yeah, Rody will be able to make his full attack. Yeah. So, roll your uh, scimitar first. Oh. I just, away. What, um, I rolled an 18... So plus eight, so 26. That will hit. Okay, awesome. Um, okay. Um, then I got six plus four. Ten damage. Ten damage. All right. Um, so a certain amount of this does actually, so you, you feel like as you, as you swing your scimitar and, and against his shoulder, a certain amount of it kind of like shrugs off. Um, it is, uh, it's definitely, it's resisting you a little bit, but a lot of it gets through. Okay, cool. So then I'll roll for Rody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, that's, uh, <clears throat> 16. Or 15. 15? Do I get to do, oh, I can only smite once per day, right? So you can only use smite once per day. Okay. However, you do get three attacks with Rody. Oh, okay. You get two claw attacks and a wing attack, I believe. Okay, so that's, uh, 15 for one of them. 15. Uh, then 26 for the next one. I just all I picture is just this just bird flies in and flails all and over a person. <laughs> uh, the, the 26 will hit. Okay. So the 26 is a wing attack. So let's see. Or I'm sorry, it's not a wing attack. It's a claw attack. So, okay. Two plus four plus one. Two plus four plus one is seven. Okay. Um, and most of that also gets through. Okay. Cool. Not quite all of it, but a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Moving on to Unbreakable Diamond. All right. Uh, how close is the team to me? Uh, you, all the team. So Velocity is over far left, um, okay. about 25 feet away. Uh, I'm still next to you. Yep. You are, j- you are currently adjacent to both Aurora and uh, Silverback. And I believe... Um, uh, uh, high C. High C. You uh, took a move action to get in closer to the middle of the field mm-hmm. for your. So you're about 15 away, 15 feet away from High C. I will uh, hold out a hand towards High C to gesture him in closer to us, and I'll begin singing counterpoint to him. Okay. Uh, which is going to be me using team player to give plus one to all attack rolls and all skill rolls. Adjacent to me. Okay. Yeah, just one per person. The next one, each. The one? next one for each person who steps in my adjacents. Okay. <laughs> um, and that takes your standard action then. That takes my full action. Yes. Cool. All right. Um, and I look invigorated, even though I don't have any more health to gain. <laughs> cool. <laughs> next up is going to be 
Um, well, it would be one of the sure demons, but the sure demon is um, bobbing along. <laughs> He's clapping <laughs> offbeat. <laughs> um, Fans. The human next to him screams. But he's been to concerts before. He does not. He doesn't. Humans screaming in his ear while he's listening to the song is all totally normal. Um, nice. The next demon looks around and sees. So this one is currently surrounded on three sides by you, you, and you. So currently he is flunked. Um, flunked. 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 He's going to kind of scamper backwards. Um, we uh, all get attacks of opportunity on him. Well, uh, yeah. So all. Yeah. So Aurora. Uh, Silverback and um, Unbreakable Diamond, you all have a chance to uh, give an attack of opportunity against hey, the guy. I'll take yeah. one. I swear to God, these rolls. Crit. Wait, really? <laughs> or I rolled a 20. I don't think I crit in Pathfinder. You can right? roll to confirm. Oh, do it, is it like a risk thing? Is it like. No, no risk. Okay, all right. The way Pathfinder crits work like this you roll a 20, you are threatening a critical, and you will always hit no matter what. If you confirm against their AC a second time, that's when you get your crit bonus. I got 18. Ooh. Oof. Um, eight plus six, so fourteen is the second roll. All right. What okay. about you? I got a twenty-five for Pippa, and then I got a um, uh, twenty-six for Rhododactylus. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> that was uh, for one of his attacks. Do I roll for all three attacks that he does? No, just one. Okay, just one. Um, so I will say, um, you. Your crit doesn't, you, you will hit, but don't crit. Barely, barely. You hit because of your flanking. Um, and both Aurora and, uh, and uh, Rory will hit, so. Hey. What is, what do I get if I crit in this game? It depends on Let's your weapon. Let's tear this guy apart. You don't make it, you, uh, every weapon has a crit multiplier. Uh, however, it might be a times three, I don't know. It's uh, the only reason I, 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 I'm generally fond of the, you get a 20, you get a crit. Uh, yeah. Except the Pathfinder allows for crit fishing builds. Where you uh, threaten a crit on 15s. Um, what? Sometimes, uh, even with, uh, or you can, I think my favorite crit fishing build involves a Falcata, which lets you uh, threaten on a 17 for a times three multiplier. Um, so you gotta kinda like back it off a little bit. But I got 17 damage. I have eight damage. Okay, I got um, eight damage and seven damage. Okay. Oh no. So. The dude is fucked. <laughs> Remember that one okay. time uh, with your guy, you guys in the in the construct in that hallway. Someone yes. you were trying to talk to. Yes. Oh so let's get a let's get a proper um, uh, Avenger style takedown uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. sequence here. Because I tell you this, he does not survive. <laughs> I definitely like throw an uppercut in there and just get the the nice like. <laughs> okay, we're getting an uh, uppercut kind of knocks out. Just frames of all the attacks. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, I sink the halberd straight into his heart and then give him a little. Because oh. <laughs> I hate demons now more than usual, I'm gonna grin and kind of stab towards the stomachy area. <laughs> and Rhododactylus is gonna scree. <laughs> Rhododactylus, just but in like a, I guess in like an eagle voice, like ah! or something. I don't know. Hopefully that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your ears. <laughs> um, but deeper, because I can't make it like a deep bird noise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bird. audience. That was it. <laughs> the ones that go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best birds. <laughs> he, is, he is punched backwards into yells two blades. He's transfixed through them. Uh, uh, Rody just kind of, kind of like, like screams right in his face, and suddenly like fire pours out of every, every, everywhere that he's yes. pierced. Yes. Uh, he goes in silhouette against like a background of flames, and he just falls <laughs> to demon dust. Yeah. Demon dust. Perish. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. That was my turn, yeah. right? <laughs> Yes, now it's your turn. Cool. How many more demons are there? No, I don't have the we moon. have um, four demons left, uh, one of which is a sure demon, and three of which are dretch. Are any of them not fascinated with his performance? Yes, the two dretch over uh, over to the on the right side of the courtyard are. Uh, I, I've been using, up and, I've been using north and south for up and down and left and right, but you get the point. All right, I'm gonna um, run up and just football kick one, <laughs> just like just run up and just full leg, just <laughs> do it as hard as I can. If you're plus one. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Um, that is a 21. For this distance, we can also, uh, just to remind everybody, there's a charge maneuver. Oh, okay. You can take a minus two to your AC, uh, if you move at least 15 feet, I believe it is, or maybe even 10 feet, no, not say feet, I'll check it out. You move a certain distance, 15 or 20 feet, you, uh, and then attack at the end, you take a minus two AC for a plus one to attack. Um, oh, okay. I don't need it. <laughs> no, <you laughs> I don't. won't use that right now. But for the record, it exists. 
Uh, and damage on that is uh, twelve. 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 All right. Um. If possible, I would like him to just fly into the sky and disappear in a little star twinkle you like just an anime. Team, team, team rocket him. <laughs> yes. You know what? Yes. Okay. That happens because y'all got you, because you got that that, uh, that surprise around <laughs> earlier on. We did get some. You sunk some damage in. All of y'all got some, like when y'all were when they were all in Chamo, they had a lot higher damage resistance, but you still got dissipated some damage into each of them. So it just pushed it over. So just kind of a awesome. <laughs> Yay! Y'all got down to three Ding. demons, two of whom are enthralled and one of whom is not. Um, it is now Lad Five's turn. Um, I'm going to. I don't want to look up enthrall. Make sure how it works. Right. I'm just going to eyeball it. Go ahead and make a perform check for me as a move action to maintain your enthrallment. That's pretty good. 18 plus my, like, massive perform bonus. So. <laughs> You're on to the second verse now. How does the second verse go? <sighs> just a lot of more babies, girls. Uh, <laughs> just a bunch of variations on that. I can't imagine it. Oh, no. The second verse is the rap section. <laughs> oh, please. Yes. Please delight us. No. <laughs> delight. <laughs> It's not for Fine. human ears. It's only for demon ears. <laughs> but also before, but but also, I took. An I I made this character specifically so I could sing so well that it explodes heads. Yeah, you do want to, you, you want to make a ranged attack with your voice. Yes. Oh, you know what? Go for it. Because I have two demons enthralled. They're already. That's true. So it's basically a sneak attack. All right. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying. I I will allow it. I'm already in their heads. What's your base it's, attack bonus? I don't know. It should be something. Aren't you letting him attack with his charisma? It's got to be at four. Three. Four. Four, because... Mm. Uh, your, uh, yeah, well, if he's attacking with his charisma, it'd be four plus your charisma. Which should, I'm going to say is four like plus your roll. He's supposed to be yeah. Charisma's eight. 18, so... Yeah. So that's a four. So so okay, so roll, roll, and eight. roll and add eight. Roll and add eight? Yeah. yeah. Hey, 21. Wait, 20. 20. Which demon are you Wait, targeting? Wait, 21. You're, you're targeting <laughs> one of the demons that you are, have enthralled? Both of them. No. They're listening to the same song. <laughs> yeah, but you got to... You have to target this Listen, one. I can you throw my voice. You got you to, like, you know, you got to focus on one member of the audience at a time. Fine, fine, fine. I point out the cutest one. Oh, my God. Are you into cutest. goats or are you into oil-covered balloons? Oil, definitely oil-covered balloons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good answer. That was a good answer. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what Don't die. That? What happened? I rolled low on my reflex. <laughs> oh, no. You're all good. Um, <laughs> All right, so you you you, got the, you turn your your big puppy dog eyes towards this dredge demon, and you're calling it out specifically. Um, uh, let's roll um, one d eight plus two on that. Okay. Mega. Seven. It can be the mega version. Yeah. Seven. And since you already had this guy enthralled, we don't need to deal with the damage resistance here, right? No. You know what like, no, you've already not. got this guy, and, and so he, uh, he's, he's welcomming it, if anything. Yeah, he, like, he, you see, he turns and he's like, Yeah, you. You see him grow redder and redder and swell with affection, and then he pops. <laughs> he pops right on my wink, by the way. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. He, he pops what? <laughs> You're missing all of this. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this. Uh, that is just more of this. That's true. <laughs> We're yeah. the same thing, I think. <laughs> nice. Okay. And is my is my performance continued? That We're say yes, versus the one thing that's left for it, yeah. Oh. Uh, even though we're not sitting next to each other, I'm going to counter pose as well. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, just, yeah. it's just reflex. It's yeah, like, he's like, everything he does is kind of on beat to my song anyway, you yeah. know, in a harmony. It's like Beethoven, you don't even actually need to hear it. You just know what's happening. It's like, yep. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, and. Thank you for being next. Oh. Yep. Who have we got left? <laughs> we have uh, one yeah, like dredge an and one shirt. goat and one non enthralled dredge demon. Right. So. Um, the non-enthralled dredge demon is going to uh, scream. Like, he's going to look at all of y'all and go, "Abyss, no, absolutely not." He's going to go <laughs> straight Abyss, no. for that uh, for that that uh, that civilian right behind the fountain. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. kill him! Did you see skirt? Uh, yeah. Oh. How close are we? To how close am I to the civilian? You are 15 feet away from the civilian. Damn. You see the the, the, the dredge just going. 
never and misses terribly. Um, but it is now next to the, the civilian. You do. Okay. I'm going to get him. Um, that one's dead. Yeah, you may get him now. <laughs> I'm just going to sh- shoot lightning at him. <laughs> yeah, we're just, just like... More lightning. <laughs> <laughs> just full yeah. of Palpatine. Yeah. Just, yeah. He's like snapping just behind your back. Just a... Bzz. Wait yeah. for the bass drop of our song. <laughs> no. <laughs> Roll it. Music does not affect me very much. Well, that's a shame. Because <laughs> that'd be a good combo. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 22. 23. 20, 23, yeah. 3. 24. <laughs> 26. Going once, going twice. 22. Uh, Soul, okay. Her attack modifier is plus 11 also because I gave her weapon focus twice. Can you? We'll talk about it later. Did they okay. stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should get the same kind of bonus. We'll I can take out. off half of it if you want. No, I didn't feel like coming up with a different, uh, a right. different feat, a third feat. Do so. I have to do three d six again? Yep. Do I have to roll all this? There's just so <laughs> many. They're heavy damage dice. I just can't roll them all. Wow. Twelve. <laughs> Plus Twelve. two. Fourteen. He did. <laughs> Tell me how. <laughs> 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 real quick. Ever seen a mosquito net? <laughs> yeah. Just like right here. Just zzz. He's done. And just flat line. Done for. <laughs> yeah. Just hits him. You just shuffle your feet on the ground. And just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> All right. He's, he, he, he ain't. All right. Good. He ain't. He ain't. Got him. <laughs> That'd be what it says on my gravestone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and Aurora, it is your turn. There is one demon yep. left. It is up north all the way. It's it, it'll be harassing this this little girl next to him as soon as he's done with the song because the song is a bop. Okay, I run over, fly wait. over. Wait. Yes. We might need his information to find more demons. No, girl. <laughs> I don't Can't feel that. Like that. Look, he's attacking a <laughs> girl. <gasps> no. He's currently. Enraptured by our performance. But there's a vulnerable girl. Girl. Okay, anyway. Girl. <laughs> um, uh, Are you going to pass an opportunity to not kill it? I'm going to kill the demon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, um, I go kill the demon with my scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a, in a showy fashion <laughs> with, with, a, with some uh, leaping. Okay, roll that attack. No, just kill him. <laughs> Um, that was a 14. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> For once, he does not die. Uh, you miss, but you are now, uh, like, all up in his grill. Also, my bird attacks him. Actually, by attacking him, that does break his It does break the enthrallment, oh, so. Shoot. Okay, well, the bird will attack okay, now. Girl. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. sad about that, but I'm... We can forgive. We can Okay, love. that there's one won't girls. hit either, I there's guess. There's that one will hit you. I feel like it's one attack because he moved. There's lots of girls, but there's not Nothing. your girl. <laughs> Nothing. Girl. You're the only girl. Girl. All right. Um, so you go over, you get in his face, you flap around some, uh, well, you don't actually have wings. I keep mixing up with the other character. Anyway, you, 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 you get all this in, in, his, in his, uh, his face with all your holy uh, rose window uh, halo stuff and your bird of light and, and justice fails to hit him also. But it's cool. Um, it's now Thanks. Unbreakable Diamond's turn. All right, we're gonna go charge at this demon. Do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna look at him in his demon eyes. They're, they're rectangular like goats, but grosser. Ooh. I'm gonna be like, in abyssal. Girl, tell me where your demon homies be hiding at. Cause I got me and I got my boy and there's only one of you and so much love. Is that gonna be an intimidate? Um, it could be intimidate. It could be persuasion. You're gonna want to intimidate on this one. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Oh, good. That's not a one. <laughs> um, intimidate is plus eleven, so eighteen. Eighteen. Um, he is effectively uh, cowed, ironically enough. Uh, he's like, <sighs> so he'll be flat for the rest of this uh, uh, for any other further attacks this round. Uh, yeah. And he looks like uh, he's a bit scared of what you what you're offering. But doesn't they always are? But that's what makes it fun. <laughs> that's what? No, hold on. We're, 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 we're gonna deal with this later. This is <laughs> not tonight. Not right now. All right. 
As my swift action, I point the mic to my homeboy. <laughs> He's going to have plus one. one. He's going to have plus one on his next I got uh, two roll. mics now. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, it's now the demon's turn. The demon is demoralized, so it's not going to attack any of y'all. It is going to kind of stumble backwards and flail around back to that civilian it was near with its heavy halberd of death thingy. Wait, am I still standing near there? Yeah. I would like to bodyguard the civilian to give it plus two AC. Okay. I think it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I can say I tried. Um, the, uh, the demon uh, its kind of like flailing backwards, and it just uh, you, you hear like a shh, and you see that the spike like impacts the, the, the civilian's shoulder. Uh, she screams out. Um, Failing at her job, guys. <laughs> She'll take four damage. <laughs> um, and I'm not. She has to roll oh, at my job. a fort save against disease. No. What's the average fort score that a 13 year old girl yeah, has? They have do you 10 think? con. <laughs> what? It's a civilian, right? Yeah. Tens. Yeah. No. Yeah. She passes. Hey, barely. It's because she's she's, she's kind of girl who who uh, comes out to 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 y'all's concerts and she's used to standing. Remember, <laughs> girl, standing for a long time. And Diamonds screaming. are unbreakable. Yeah. A lot of our fans get in unlike my so heart. Far, um, <laughs> she is uh, gonna fall unconscious though. So, from looking Probably at me, I know. <laughs> and it's scary out here. Silverback, it's your turn. Uh, full on body girl. tackle. How many demons are there? It's not cool. This is the last one. one. It's not low. One, one, okay. one, one muscly yeah, goat, and I'm just going to football tackle him. Okay. All right, so you have to make a move to do that? Yes. Would you like to charge or just going to... Charge adds to my attack. It gives you plus one attack for a minus two AC. Uh, sure, I'm just throwing myself at him, yeah. so why not? <laughs> um, oh, hell yeah. Uh, 25. That hits. And just roll damage as if it was punch. Yeah. Roll damage oh. as if punch. Is this also like a combat maneuver or something? Do I add? Do I? Is it? Does, I mean, does it change it, the circumstances it, it, at all? It, if you wanted to bull rush or something, but it, for the damage now, it's just okay. It's I think like I will do bull, like bull rush just to like try and push him away from her, I guess, as well. Okay. Um, roll uh, damage first. Uh, ten plus that's uh, fourteen. Fourteen damage. Yeah. We don't need to worry about the rest. Okay. <laughs> you take him down. Um, and you fall, you hear a click, and his demon spine sort of like cracks down. He's actually not dead. Um, he is just, un, uh, he is, uh, he's dying, but <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, and he is disabled. Okay. And we'll call that combat done. Sure. Ding. I will finish with the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, coup de ground. Double fist down on him then. Ouch. It's good that the little girl's unconscious, because that was unpleasant. <laughs> You just, you just coot, you coot him? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, that was out of character. You're not a question. <laughs> um, I think uh, y'all have now uh, killed these demons once in Lyrum's head and once in real life, so <laughs> they're really dead this time. Good. Super dead. Oh, these are the, literally the same demons. Okay. <laughs> they fled into Chamo's head, remember? Right, okay. Who is, by the way, uh, uh, unconscious back at the gate, uh, unbeasted. Gotta, you gotta sing my favorite song. Help this little girl. <sighs> Pull sing. myself up. Shining, wonderful, perfect girl. Oh, she'd love that one. Yes, yeah, she would. Because she is a shining, wonderful, perfect girl. I would girl. like to walk it, up it to Chomwell nice. and like grab him by. Does he have clothes? He does. The by his clothes and start yeah. dragging him away. Hey, whoa, 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 hold up. This is our guy. Sorry, we uh, gotta drag him back to our place. If you're alright with that. Girl. <laughs> You're really fast, and you seem to have stolen my heart. I, I, what? what? What did he say? Girl. I don't <laughs> really know what they're saying most of the time. Are you made of, um... What is that? Just metal? Are you made of metal? I am wearing armor. I would like to knock on his face. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey. Okay, look, uh, what's your name? Velocity. I'm Silverback. Nice to meet you. 
Sure. What was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, an old friend of ours. He had a bit of a breakdown. Uh, we're supposed to bring him back to our place to try and help him get better. So sorry for the damage that he caused. Speaking it, of, you see there's somebody. Somebody is uh, striding into the, in, into the, in the middle of the the courtyard. They're in that same uh, half plate or the same full plate we saw in the uh, the other waypoint officer. Um, uh, wearing this person is wearing identical armor, uh, but has a big warhammer uh, on their back. Velocity. Oh. Funny meeting you here. We've come once again to uh, inspect the premises. You've had dealings with these people before. Oh, this is waypoint. This is waypoint. I would mm. like to run into the alley and change back. Okay. <laughs> and literally every time I see those that oh, armor, I'm trying to, I'm so trying to remember my story. I'm on good terms with Waypoint. Right? You're on bad terms with Waypoint. I'm on bad terms with Waypoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the deal. So and they Waypoint, know that, right? Yes. You are the sole person who has been protecting Block 62 for the past right. like, three months. Yeah. Um, uh, Waypoint has had designs for Block 62. Gotcha. They want to level it and rebuild it uh, better, but without any of the people in it. Mm. Um, they've been looking for any excuse possible to condemn it, uh, seize the property uh, bit by bit. Um, and so he looks around and goes, well, this doesn't seem safe to me. I think after we call it an independent inspection, of course, they'll agree that all these buildings need to be condemned. I suggest you get your people out of here, Velocity. This um, won't stand trial. All right, I run back out in my Pippa Brigalia. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, this is under my jurisdiction. It's recently been to assi- been assigned to me as a project by the council. Please bluff. I can't do, like, perform or something. She does. I have U3 rehabilitation. You can, you prefer, well, so, it's, uh, if, you're, if you're acting in an official capacity, you can say, you can use, perfor- you can use profession acolyte. Um, can't you use diplomacy? Yeah, it's di- a lie. this is a diplomacy sc- It's uh, not a lie. I have been assigned Diplomacy to is it. also a lie. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, we're good. I guess you've been... Uh, I'm not uh, trying to swindle them, I'm just trying to get them to go if you, away. If you're trying to, uh, if you word it in such a way that you make it clear that you are, you're, it's been, this, this area has reached, this, it's been assigned as a project, that's fair enough. You can, you can go ahead for profession acolyte, I guess, or whatever you're hiring. Not one. diplomacy? Is diplomacy higher? Go yes, it. it's way okay. higher. Okay, well, 19. 19. He looks around. Yes, well, you've, your project seems to have Failed somewhat. I think we can all agree. This is mid requisition. Yes, we are also mid requisition. If this um, must go to court, then it will. Alas, I feel that we have more friends in court than you do. But I'll hold on. Why don't you take moment. it up with the twins? What's that? Why don't you take it up with the twins? Oh, we shall. And they're barristers. Excuse you. Do I know what the twins are? Yeah, these are referring to the Duarks who lead the city. Gotcha. They okay. are the two, the twin Asamar, who, who uh, in 10 years stints, serve as uh, essentially benevolent dictators over the city. Can I roll intimidate? Yeah. Yes. I'd like to, oh wait, no, I can't do that. Um, I just rolled a 28 intimidate. How would you like to intimidate him? <laughs> um, I don't think it would be wise for you to go to court. I think that a person like yourself would be smart enough to see the wisdom in backing down from this situation. Okay, all right. Um, um, in a very threatening tone. Maybe I'll glow like backlit by my <laughs> rose window halo. Like I'll just, my face will go dark and just see the, the light in a scary manner. And my ribbons, they normally flow out from my body, but now they're like menacing like snakes. Like, <laughs> 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 like so. He, a, he kind of, st- he like reshuffles his feet a bit. Madam Acolyte, I didn't mean to presume to usurp your authority, of course. I just meant that we should follow due process. However, I understand that perhaps I was uh, hasty in what I meant by courts. I will go see what paperwork needs to be done. I certainly don't need to bother you any further this evening. Good Goodbye. And he kind of stumbles backwards summon. Reshuffles his armor and shakes off. I want Rody to slap. Do I know his who Pippa is? Huh? Do I know who Pippa is? Oh, you know who Pippa is? Oh, I've like I've heard of Pippa. The, everybody knows who the acolyte is. 
Oh, okay. It's kind of like the governor of your, set, your your state or something. Like she's she's a. I'm she's, the Greg Abbott. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's the, she's the third most prominent figure in uh, politics. There is uh, the the like there's the duarchs who deal with the actual like running the city. The and then you have the the, the acolyte who is the public face, the PR department for the entire. She's kind of like the um uh, she's the director of communications. Like the White House has you know the their person who gives the press conferences. Mm-hmm. Pippa would give the press press conferences. <laughs> so you definitely know who she is. I'm the Sarah Huckabee Sanders of... What exactly she quit? are you doing here? I'm helping you. I didn't call you here. I'm helping everyone. I'm keeping those snakes from infiltrating the district. Is that your friend? Um, Points to I, Chomwell. <laughs> uh, I don't know him personally, but I know of him. And I think he is a person who is in need of medical care at this moment. And that's why we are here. I'm going to... Hoist him up, get him over the shoulder. Medical attention, obviously, from the. Yeah. We have a place we can take him for special cases that deal with um, things like demon possession. You are welcome to accompany us back. I don't have any problem with that. Thanks. And we're demon permission. hunters, girl. Yeah, don't forget about us. Yeah. We, we hunt. We haven't been so no one's paid attention to us in a while. We're feeling yeah, very upset. Yeah, it's been. Quiet and nice. Can I send Rhodey to go land on one of your, their heads? <laughs> yes. Okay. Rhodey lands on, um, oh my god, what are y'all's names? Oh, uh, Joachim, Joachim's head? <laughs> Joaquin. Um, Joaquin? Oh, I'm sorry. I, was I don't know who that. Joaquin is. Joaquin's you combine head. Joaquin Wait, and no, 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 no. Is that what's going on? I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Here, I don't know who let Joaquin me, is. Let, okay. I don't, but he sounds he like a cool guy. He does, but she he's doesn't, very I don't hot. say that out loud. I think loud. he's very handsome, I just, I, but go, I don't know him. The, the bird lands on Ricky. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I want you to know that he, he settles on you fashionably. <laughs> it adds to your look, bro. Thanks, man. I've been thinking about using more birds. <laughs> oh, I was going to use more birds. <laughs> we could both use some more birds. Start. Can we both use birds? Yeah, we'll have to go uh, hit it up at the belt store later. Oh, you know, My bird's going to have so many belts. Oh. <laughs> Girl. That's not a very applicable term. Who are you? Velocity. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. I am speed. Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Sorry you have to um, deal with those well, before guys. Is, um, he's, um, did, was, so how do you know who he is? Who? This guy? Mm-hmm, that guy. Uh, he worked with us for a while, uh, and then he hit his head, and then he got possessed by demons. It's been an exciting whirlwind. An unfortunate uh, set of circumstances, I would say. As So I've heard. Oh, I've been in a whirlwind before. Remember when we were in that whirlwind of love the other day? <laughs> I think that was Tuesday. People call it Tuesday. How it's often the whirlwind do of Asimars love. visit Block 66 or whatever? 62. 62. Uh, plenty often. I mean, uh, Asimars are everywhere. I okay, know. that makes sense. How often does Pippa visit? That's unusual. Got it. Hey, I okay. gotta go in real life. I love everybody. Uh, good to meet you. Um, uh, Thanks lad, for being here. Lad, lad five uh, can't be seen after performances. So he's, <laughs> <laughs> descends the, on the trap door. You know, yeah. like you. Know. There's, a, there's a trap door. <laughs> Demon trap door. He, he has to get a head start to the hotel, or the girls will swarm. Yeah. Exactly. And it's okay that he gets a little bit more girls than me. He's, you know, I, that's fine. I'm okay with that. You'll find love one day. I get enough love and girls. <laughs> that five is my friend. Okay, good luck. Bye. Thanks for being here. Yeah, bye. 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 Let me see your drawing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I colored it. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks. That's so good. Thank you. Show them at the end. Yes, yeah, so we can right. put it in. At and the we're going to go ahead and start wrapping it around here, too. So, okay. anything, yeah. thanks for being here. Anything you would like to do before you close this out, we can close it out right here in the square if you want and break it, pick it back up. Uh, next, where we pick it up next time is up to. Uh, I just attempt to commiserate about how annoying uh, Waypoint is and then yeah. uh, uh, probably head on back. Me and I see over here are gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna do the, the heavy lifting because he is the magic voice. But we're gonna healing whatever heal spell bards have at the girl that went down. Yeah, I'll cure her light wounds. Hey, Aww. that's good. Yay. Sounds good. Waypoint, right? Hey, I think Excuse those are the me. people who want I that. Them. I hate them so much. I'm really sorry you have to deal with them. I, I kind of want to like try and like 
I want to try and like take the mask off. That's a that's a no no. Don't do, no, we're not doing that. That's I'm like inspecting you. <laughs> I'm just like like from head to toe, just like looking at you, and like knocking on random parts of your armor thing. Look, how about you come back with us? I think there's probably somebody that would be interested in meeting you. Oh yeah, I have no intention of just having you take him away. He has been terrorizing my block for days, weeks, months, All however right. long it's been. Yeah, no, that's fair. Follow us, and uh, when he wakes up, you and I can take turns hitting him. Oh, no. All right, I'll hit no. him, and you can do whatever else you want to do. All right. It was nice <laughs> to meet you all. I'm going to stare angrily at you. <laughs> I won't say anything. But why? Why? I, uh, are you displeased in some way? Have, have my bureaucratic services not been of service to you personally? Can I help you in any way? That's what I'm trying to say. I was a youth yes, once, and, and no. she rehabilitated me. <laughs> what? That's, I, I did. That's true. He is in process. Now he is no longer a youth. Mid-rehabilitation. <laughs> not understood a single word he has said. Um... Uh, is he doing? Uh, winking, I believe. <laughs> Try and wink. <laughs> it you looks know, horrible. not everyone starts like a diamond, but you know, diamonds don't start like diamonds because diamonds are, they're like coal, you know, girl. But like, with love, diamonds get to be diamonds and diamonds are unbreakable. Yes. Okay. Very good. Good did analysis. We, did diamonds. we get the money to buy that really cool church back for those two really awesome young guys? I believe we have to return to the headquarters in order to get the money. Well, let's do that. Or I believe you all need to return to the headquarters in order to get the money. <laughs> yep, we'll head that way, woman I've never seen. To see somebody, uh, yep. All right, so as you all have your assorted purposes, you are all going to you'll all uh, vaguely trickle back towards the Aegis. And we will see y'all next time on Alter Egos with some of these people back. Some of them uh, maybe you knew. We got, uh, thank you for joining us on today's adventure. And catch you later.